Yo, what's up, investigators? Thanks for being patient. Welcome to, I don't know, this thing that I'm doing. Hey, I'm Graham, and I'm excited to be doing this thing with you. Uh, I wanted to, I, I guess I kind of got inspired, because uh, the other day I put a meme up on the Arkham Facebook page about uh, one of the new tomes from the Circle Undone cycle. It's called Scroll of Secrets. Uh, I'll show you the meme in a minute, but basically... It was kind of saying that Daisy doesn't really care about the new tomes that came out, even though she's been tome starved this entire lifespan of the game. Um, so, you know, I thought, uh, well, what if we try out some of these tomes? So today I present to you Tomes for Days, which is uh, we're just going to deck tech, put together a solo Daisy deck for a standalone adventure. Uh, and... I thought, what if we try to cram in a bunch of these tomes? Well, it would be a lot easier if we had Daisy's bag out, because Daisy's bag lets you hold, like, I don't know, what, three or four tomes pretty easily. Um, normally, when I play Daisy, you know, you just put in, like, the one tome that you really want, usually the Old Book of Lore, and then when the Necronomicon comes out, it doesn't really affect you, because even though it takes up a hand slot, you only had the one book anyway. Um... And then later on, maybe you get an encyclopedia, and encyclopedia, you know, like you get down to Old Book of Lore, you use it to pull out encyclopedia, so now you got Old Book of Lore in one hand and encyclopedia in the other, and then Necronomicon shows up, and it's halfway through the scenario, so you don't care about the draw from Old Book of Lore anymore, and, you know, typically you just build her so you don't have a lot of tomes, and therefore you don't care about her weakness. Um, and then her, whenever her bag shows up, you just commit it to stuff. Well... I thought, what if we used Mr. Rook to pull up Daisy's bag for consistency? So now we have a lot of ways to try to get um, Daisy's bag into play, and now we have room for a lot of these other tomes. Uh, this might give us a chance to test out some of these Circle Undone things, and then I guess the other goal for our scenario tonight is that we don't die like we do well. I guess that would be that would be a goal of mine, right? Um... So let's um, let's head into the deck builder here. Uh, I've got live chat up on the right, so if you want to say what up and give me some feedback, I would really appreciate it. Uh, otherwise, I'm just hanging out by myself on a Thursday, uh, which is nothing wrong with that. Thursdays are fine days. It didn't mean any offense to any Thursday people. Pro, pro Thursday kids. All right, so... Um, Yo, yo, yo. Here's what, I, here's what we're starting off with. We got Mr. Rook, Dealer in Secrets. Uh, remember that he lets you look through up to the top nine cards of your deck and pull out one of those cards. So he's really strong card filtering, card draw. He's basically like a three-use uh, tutor effect, like a search effect. But um, if you draw weakness, or if you look at a weak weakness, you have to draw it. So... We got to keep that in mind that probably Mr. Rook is going to pull out the Necronomicon for us. Uh, Daisy's tote bag says we have two additional hand slots, which can be used to hold Tome assets. So here's my goal. If we've got Daisy's bag out and the Necronomicon out, that gives us three hand slots left over to use for different tomes. So I'd like to put three different tomes into this deck, uh, and we're going to make this for standalone. So ideally, we're keeping it to 9 or 19 XP. Um, normally, for standalone decks, I'm fine going to 29, 39 XP if I feel like it. But um, I don't want to fill it up with too many weaknesses because we will be using Mr. Brook. So we're going to try to keep it relatively uh, tame in that regard. Um, so let me uh, get myself situated here. Uh, Greg, I don't know what scenario I'm going to play yet. Um, I guess it kind of depended on how much XP I had. Um, and I don't know, I might do something out of like Carcosa because, you know, that would be, um, a little bit easier. Dunwich might be good. I might do Blood on the Altar from Dunwich actually, because that's a nice well-rounded scenario. Um, if we, especially for at like 19 XP, cause that's a little bit later in that, uh, campaign 
so they kind of expect you to have a little bit more XP. So yeah, you know, if you, hey, if you got feedback, if you're like, hey, Graham, I've only played Dunwich, so like, just do that so I can watch, then yeah, let's, let's do that. That's fine. Um, cool. So uh, one of the new cards that came out that I particularly want to try, sorry, I'm going to play with uh, my screen resolution here for a second so I can see the chat. And let's see if I ruined my... Uh, I kind of ruined it. Um, let me see if I can do one of these numbers here. Huh? Is that any better? Yeah, I kind of fixed it. Hold on. I'm going to adjust this. I obviously haven't tried doing this before, so um, kind of a new format for me in terms of a video. Let's, uh, let's not cut off Miss Daisy there. Okay, and then let's not cut off Miss Daisy on this side. Ta-da! I did it! I'm a video boy. Okay, so the other card I wanted to uh, try out specifically in this deck is Knowledge is Power, which just came out in Union and Undimensioned? No, Disillusioned and Unseen. It's a new pack, Union and Disillusion from Circle Undone. Uh, knowledge of power. Knowledge is power is a fast event that lets us use an ability on a tome or spell asset, and that tome or spell does not even need to be in play. We can use it from our hand. Um, so we're going to try this sucker out. I'll probably have shriveling in here as a form of self-defense as well. Uh, but before we get there, I want to figure out the tome situation. So to start, I'm going to... Um, pull up all of our options for tomes and kind of throw them in here and then see kind of what we're looking at. Uh, we're doing standalone, so archaic glyphs technically we can't use um, or we don't really want to use because um, it's basically just for campaign mode, right? It's like one of those side quest cards. So we're going to skip that. Uh, for the sake of discussion, I'm going to throw in medical texts, even though I don't think it's very good. Um, I've got both versions of Scroll of Secrets in here right now, so we're going to have to come back and revisit that. Um, and we'll throw in all of our Mystic Tomes as well. All right, that's, that's what we're cooking with right now. So obviously, so there's um, you know a fair amount of Tomes already that we have to look at, but a lot of these we're going to pull out right away, so don't get overwhelmed. Uh, so first one up at the top is Book of Shadows. This is good for adding charges to spells you control. Uh, it could be an option if we need it to keep alive our uh, Shriveling and possibly Mists as well, depending on how we build our deck. Um, so it's going to kind of depend on what else we have. Divermus Mysteries is one of the new ones that just came out, again, in Union and Disillusion. And it lets you play spell or inside events from your discard pile in exchange for Doom. We're going to have to look at events to kind of figure out if this is good. So, chat, if you want to think of good spell or inside events that we think our solo daisy might want to replay in exchange for a doom, um, I guess we could go kind of a doom-ish route. Uh, possibly David Renfield plus Divermus Mysteries. Um... I don't know if I would go so far as to do like Midnight Ritual. I feel like that usually pairs well with Blood Pact. So, uh, but yeah, I think this depends on if you've got event targets. So we'll come back to that. Encyclopedia is classic. That's definitely an option. Um, Esoteric Atlas. I actually really want to try this out. So I'm going to leave Esoteric Atlas in. It's going to let us move around the map a little bit, which should be pretty cool. Um, We'll come back to that. Medical text, I think, is a very bad card. And uh, it's better if you can focus really heavily on intellect. But we've got Mr. Rook in here. And so I guess I could do Charisma plus Dr. Milan to boost her intellect up to six. But she's not going to... I mean, I don't know. I would rather have like some kind of soak maybe instead of healing so i'm not big on medical text i'm going to start by taking that out old book of lore i think if this were a level zero build we would start with that but i'm actually leaning away from old book of lore it's very good but the point of this is to try out some other stuff 
and um, Mr. Rook is going to be a really strong draw card for us. So I'm, for now, I'm going to take out Old Book. And if I hate what we're working with, then I'll, I'll uh, take it back. Uh, so Narcotic Manuscripts, I think, is too much XP for what we're going for. Uh, if I put in two copies of this, I'm basically adding a weakness just to have these two cards in here. And I don't think I really love that idea. Um, so I'm going to take out the Narcotic Manuscripts. Um, then we got our, our pair of Scroll of Secrets here. Uh, the level zero version, you can look at the bottom card of the, I guess you probably do the encounter deck. Um, and because otherwise you can use it to look at the bottom card of your own deck and then draw that card. But that doesn't seem very good. So I'm assuming this is kind of like, a, I think it would compare best to scrying, I, I would think. Um, where scrying lets you kind of manage the top of the encounter deck. Uh, level zero scroll of secrets to me says, look at the bottom card of the encounter deck. And if you don't mind drawing it, put it right on top. Um, so again, with a free daisy action, that could be okay. What does the upgraded version do? Um, same numbers, one cost, three secrets. Look at the bottom three cards of my own deck or the encounter deck. Discard one of those cards, uh, and then you place the rest on top. So that's that kind of combines the original scroll of secrets with like an old book of lore effect, where I could look at the bottom three cards of my deck, and then draw one of those. That's actually that seems pretty cool to me. So I'm gonna try leaving that in. We'll get rid of the level zero version. All right, so we have a total of five different distinct tomes so far and I think we want to get it down to three because then with the tote bag in the Necronomicon we can hold four books. So Necronomicon plus three others. Um, if it were up to me I would skip these two I guess it is up to me. Uh, <laughs> I would skip these two um, mystic ones. Uh, the Book of Shadows I feel like we, we're going to want a lot of spells to support that and I'm skeptical like I don't know how many assets we really want in this deck right I don't want to slow us down too much and if we start adding in shriveling and mists and we use that to replenish those plus like how often are we gonna be like using shriveling for example um, I mean, I guess it would help in a pinch, but wouldn't we be better off just using other combat cards? We are playing solo, so the number of monsters we're going to draw is kind of limited, I think. I hope. Uh, so I'm leaning away from Book of Shadows. I'm just going to go ahead and take it out. And then for me, I'd like to try Scroll of Secrets, and I want to try Esoteric Atlas. So then it's down to Encyclopedia to boost one of our own stats, or Divermus Mysteries which is going to let us recur events from our discard pile. Um, I guess it kind of depends on what the events are. So let's come back to that. Uh, let's fill out the rest of our deck and make a sound solo seeker deck. Um, and we will see kind of where we're at. Uh, if we end up with a bunch of cool events, like I've got a plan that we want to recur, then I'll probably try out Devermas Mysteries. Mysteries? Yeah, that's fine. It's Latin. I don't know. It's like a dead language. I, no one no one talks that way. Uh, otherwise, Encyclopedia, we all know how that's going to work out, right? So that's kind of what I'm looking at. And we're already at 12 assets. So although it would be cool to like flush out our deck with some other um, strong assets, I'm I'm thinking we're probably going to have too many. Well, you know, I take out two of the books, put in four more assets that puts us in 14. That's not terrible. All right, so um, let's talk about solo Daisy stuff. She's already natively pretty strong at getting clues. She's already got a five intellect. Big thing is mitigating enemies. Um, and I think there's maybe a couple routes we could go. 
we could do a spell route, which to me would be Shriveling and Mist of Rilia, and they would fight and evade for us um, respectively, but we would need to find a way to get her willpower up, which means that we'd probably do like the Holy Rosary. I don't think there's a lot of good ways to boost willpower. Um, the only other way I can think of would be David Renfield and then you know do some cycling with David Renfield and Mr. Rook to try to manage my um, what am I trying to say? Manage my doom. So that feels like it's a lot of work because I'm already juggling freaking five books anyway. Um, so I'm looking for willpower, I guess. Um, if I just put a W, is that what I... Uh, oh, I see. Uh, I'm looking for willpower in the text. So like that, right? Nope, I did wrong. I just type in willpower. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, so Hawkeye folding camera is one way to boost willpower, uh, but it takes up a hand slot. We got books. Not going to happen. Tooth Vesley is willpower for treacheries. So nope. In Curiosity, we might throw that in our deck because I bet you with Mr. Rook, we'll probably have a lot of cards in our hand. So Curiosity seems like a decent card. Uh, for Mystic, um, well, they have a lot of cards that deal with willpower, obviously. Um, Arcane Studies, I don't think I'm going to have a ton of extra money unless, you know, I do something different. I could combo it with Renfield and use Renfield money. That's one option. Holy Rosary is one option. Um, and uh, that looks like pretty much it. Those are my options for boosting my willpower. Um, so let's see, that would look like this. It would be uh, Shriveling for two, Mists for two, and I'll say Rosary for now for two, because um, it's XP light. We're at 18, let's say I drop the Encyclopedia, we're at 16 assets, that's a lot. And then let's look at our cost curve here. I don't know if you can see that or not. No, it's cut off. Um, well, I'll just tell you, cost curve's real bad. We've got six cards that cost three, some cards that cost two. Um, so, um, now the good news is that with Knowledge is Power, we could potentially get more use out of those spells that we have. So that's not insane. Um, if we wanted to, we could do Renfield instead of the Rosary with a Charisma maybe in play. Actually, maybe I wouldn't use Charisma because I would just want to use him to... Or I would use the other allies to remove him from play, right? Um, do you know if you can play a Renfield on top of a Renfield to get rid of the old Doom? I feel like like Netrunner, you can. I don't think you can in Arkham because um, I think you're not allowed to play a unique asset if I remember correctly, uh, if there's already one in play. So I'd have to find a Mr. Rook to overwrite the David Renfield. So that would be one solution to the cost curve. Um, what if uh, we leave the Rosary and I take out the Mists? Um, if this is our loadout, first of all, that's only 14 assets. It's very reasonable, um, I think, for this build. But um, our shriveling still only at a four, which is pretty garbo. It's not very good. So I'm kind of nervous about that. Um, which I might use a lot of skills to pump that. We'll see. Um, also, if you're a solo uh, Daisy aficionado, you just uh, you let me know because I've never played her solo. I have played solo Ursula, so I know some of the options that I have available to me in terms of managing enemies. But um, 
Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to leave this for now. One thing that I think would be really cool would be to try out the Grizzly Totem. Um, so I've used this solo a lot in a lot of my solo builds um, because you don't have time to build up this big board. Your actions are so compressed, I like using lots of skills and lots of commits. So the Grizzly Totem actually ends up being really good. Um, that could be an option if I just pack the rest of my deck with willpowers um, to fend off enemies. The last thing, I mean, I, I was going to say I could put in an Enchanted Blade. And I know that sounds crazy at first, because you're like, why would you ever do that? Here's the thing, Enchanted Blade um, has charges on it, and uh, you can pump your fight by two, so then Daisy's fighting at a four. So you, then you committed like an overpower or an unexpected courage, and you're fighting at a six. I mean, it's not terrible, and it's a good way to deal with rats. So, um, oh, Greg's making a good point. Instead of shriveling, what if it was um, Song of the Dead? So it only does one damage, but... I think accuracy is a bigger problem for me right now. Um, so I could do Song of the Dead in addition to or instead of Shriveling. Now we're back at 16 assets, which is a lot. I'm wondering, maybe we look at like event options for dealing with enemies and then come back to this because we might just decide to do like a couple of discs of Exomna and call it a day, right? Um, so yeah, um, we want to, we definitely are going to need ways to actually kill enemies sometimes. All right. So um, I think I've got a plan that's really good for this. This would also be a really good event to Recur with Divermus Mysteries. Divermus Mysterious? That sounds better. I don't know. So I'm going to put in two. I've got a plan, and then I don't think anyone's going to complain if I put in two copies of Mind Over Matter. Um, because. So Mind Over Matter is cool in that it. Well, I was going to say it, it synergizes with Enchanted Blade, but it kind of doesn't. Because uh, Enchanted Blade just gives you pump to actual combat, and then Mind Over Matter replaces that with Intellect. Um, which you could still use with Enchanted Blade, but you know, then you're not getting the fight bonus from that. I guess it's fine. You know, Mind Over Matter is really good. No one's going to fight me on that. Um, so those are two events that we can use to deal with enemies. I don't think that's going to be totally sufficient, though. So I think we are going to want to rely on some kind of spell casting. And I think we're using either Rosary to pump willpower consistently, or we're going to use, um, what's it called? Uh, interesting. Um, sorry, I was thinking about Divermus and Mind Over Matter. Uh, I, I think the other option would be to use Grizzly Totem because it's just a card that I like uh, and I end up committing a lot. Maybe we'll see if we end up with a lot of like skills or events that can be committed before I switch Rosary over to Grizzly Totem because Grizzly Totem's like potentially a plus one on every turn for a skill of your choice. So that can be good as long as you've got the cards to commit. Um, all right, so we're going to still resolve our enemy management thing, but we're going to need clues too, right? Um, we've got movement with Esoteric Atlas. This is either going to be Encyclopedia or Divermus Mysterious, and then Scroll Secrets is Encounter Deck Management. So maybe we do Scroll Secrets and what do you think? We could do Ward of Protection or... We could do deny existence. 
I kind of like Deny Existence more because it's free. Um, I like Ward in characters where they like focus on horror mechanics, um, but I actually really like Deny Existence for other characters because it's free. So I'm going to throw in some of those, and that's kind of our encounter deck thing that we got going on. Um, and now let's talk about clues. I don't have any hard boosts for her intellect, with the exception of possibly the encyclopedia. So I think I'm going to put in a pair of perceptions, because I'm sure I'm going to use those. And then deduction is one of the best skills in the game, so we're definitely going to do that. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, for money, I actually really want to use Crack the Case. Uh, if you're not familiar, you after you discover the last clue at a location, it's fast and you get money equal to the shroud of that location. Um, so that should come in handy. I will definitely like that more than Emergency Cash because it does come with an icon and it's fast. And you can probably get you know, four resources out of it than three. So that's definitely really good, and that's going to help us pay for some of these assets. Um, and I'm looking at other things. Shortcut could be good. Working a hunch is fine. We talked about curiosity. I'm going to throw in curiosity because it, it is um, some extra willpower icons. And while I'm talking about willpower, we'll throw in guts. So those are some ways to back up our spell casting, which I really think we're going to want. Um, so that's already at 8 skills and 32 cards. So I'm already at too much. Um, let me try taking out Song of the Dead. Let's see what we're looking at. So that's 30. Um... All two ofs, so that looks sharp. Uh, the only thing I'm thinking about is we could possibly use Mystic Events to help with enemy management. So an example of that would be something like Blinding Light, which does two damage and evades an enemy. Um, and uh, the upgraded version only costs one. Let me look at the upgraded Blinding Light here. Um, uh, it does use willpower again, so we, we do have lots of uh, willpower things. Um, I could use four of cups to help boost my willpower as well. Throw in one of those. That would be okay. Banish is the other one, um, which is an evade effect, and then if you draw a special token, you can... Oh, no, sorry. Um, I was wrong. So you use willpower to evade. If you're successful, you can move that enemy to any location. It seems really strong to me. It costs two instead of one, like Blinding Light does. Um, and there's a chance that the enemy doesn't ready for the next upkeep phase. So I'm kind of thinking about one of those, just to try it out. Why not, right? And then... I'm kind of thinking about the four cups. So I'm going to have to drop two cards here. And I think they're going to have to be skills. Um, I have 15 assets and 11 events. All right, so I'm looking at... Divermis here. Right now, what are my targets for it? Um, play a spell or inside event, reducing its resource cost by one. So mind over matter, potentially, but that's usually best when you play it fast, right? Because then you're dealing with an enemy, you get the enemy on you, and you're like, Poof, mind over matter, and then you can evade or fight or do whatever you need to do. Divermis costs an action. I know it's a daisy action, but... It's an action nonetheless. So I'm hesitant for that. Um, oops, I forgot to fix that. Sorry. Uh, let me do something here for my own sanity. Great. Um, all right, so other targets. I've got a plan would be a great target. 
Um, being able to play multiple, I've got a plan, seems really good. Banish slash, what's the other one I was just talking about? Uh, Blinding Light. Those would both be really good. Uh, deny Existence is a f is fast, so it doesn't really apply. Crack the Case is fast, so it doesn't really apply. Um, knowledge is power is fast and mind of matter. So really, I've got three targets for Deferments. And I'm almost wondering if I drop the perceptions and change Deferments back to Encyclopedia. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So then on turns where I actually need the boost to my intellect, um, I use Encyclopedia for that instead. Uh, plus, how many uh, willpower icons we got here? We already got 15 in the deck. That's not, that's not bad. Um, so then let's look at our willpower situation. Um, I'm using Rosary and Four Cups to get boosted willpower. I've got Curiosity and Guts. Uh, and then Shriveling and my One of Banish as a possible target for that. Um, this seems okay. I feel like I, my deck is already spread pretty thin, right? Like, I feel like I have to put in so much effort just to deal with enemies. I guess that's, you know, secret problems or whatever, but... Um, is there a way that I can just ditch the whole willpower suite? Um... I would need to find a way I could use Grizzly Totem instead of Holy Rosary. Drop four cups, I guess a lot back. Um, and then drop Shriveling in exchange for something else, I guess. Um, I don't really want Enchanted Blade because of the hand slot. That's kind of holding me back, honestly. Um, I could just try using... I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know what else I would use to fight off enemies. I just think I'm going to want a way to deal damage consistently. Like two damage specifically. Uh, so I think I'm going to leave the shriveling in there. Which then means I'm leaving the rest of the willpower stuff. So then I'm left with the one of banish. Um... I have 14 XP, so I have 5 XP remaining if I want to use it. Um, and I think I'm going to... I could do Grizzly Totem, but two of those is six. So I have to drop the Banish for two Grizzly Totems. I could just use the level zero version if I really want to try that out. I'm going to keep with the Rosary for now, though, because I'm super worried about willpower. Um, so then what, uh, what else do I spend my XP on, gang? Um, high red is 8 if I use Taboo, but honestly it would solve a lot of problems I have. Or I could drop to... Oh, you know what else I wanted in this deck is Enraptured. Uh, so, Enraptured is uh, really good with Shriveling because it gives me extra charges for that and really good with Scroll of Secrets if I'm using that. And Esoteric Atlas, technically, I could put more charges on and Mr. Rook, I could put more charges on. So I think Enraptured is definitely a skill that I want in here. But now, you know, I'm pretty well pretty well loaded up on, on stuff. Um, yeah, it will be really interesting, Andre, to see uh, what Occult Lexicon is all about. It's been it's spoiled, and it is a new bonded card. And bonded cards let you um, like add cards to your deck on the fly when you play them. So you play the bonded card, and it's like shuffle in three uh, other cards into your deck. Uh, they're specifically named on the bonded card, and so they kind of form like a sideboard effect. 
Um, which is cool. Very cool. Uh, I'm really at a loss, y'all. Um, oh, I'm just looking through, like, I've got XP to burn. Like, I could throw in a no stone unturned or something. Um, but I also am out of slots really hard, real hard out of slots, uh, which I don't like. What if I go down to like one of esoteric Atlas, do that, um, I could swap out Rosary for Grizzly Totem because I got 6 XP to burn and then I got to drop a card which are there any of these that are like situational that I'm not going to want to use all the time uh, I could try going one of Enraptured and just to try it out I'm going to use Grizzly Totem for this first round and if it sucks then we'll go back to Holy Rosary um, alright so this is my deck list enough talk um, yes Higher Ed would make this a lot better no, I'm not using it right now. Um, and we're going to see. Uh, you know, worst comes to worst, we drop Grizzly Totem, Banish, Four Cups, we put in Higher Ed, and some other willpower stuff. And that's probably safer, but um, we'll start with this. Thanks for watching so far. I know that we have talked like for half an hour about this darn deck and haven't played anything yet, um, but now is the time. Are you ready? Are you ready to dive in on this adventure that is... Tomes for Daisy. Uh, let's switch screens. Yeah, that totally worked. I feel good about that. I'm a video boy. Look out. Um, so we're using the super complete mod of Arkham TV. And you know what? I'm going to have to add another random basic weakness. Um, and it can't be... That one this works. Overzealous. Um, what do you mean only 27 cards? What is that all about? What? What? Um, oh, is this not updated to Union and Disillusion? Oh, pickles. I'm going to have to reload this. That's okay. That's okay. Um, let's do Super Complete. And see if it's got Union and Disillusion. Uh, onion and Disillusion. Um, we'll let that load for a second. Yeah, so, um, what, what scenario you guys want me to play? What are you thinking? Um, let's see if this works this time. Because it, I didn't account for the fact that they might not have all the cards that I want to use in this yet. Um... I'm overloading the system. I'm overloading it. Um, thanks, Greg. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I appreciate that. Andre is also correcting me with the Occult Lexicon, the Bonded card. You actually add one of the cards to your hand, and then you shuffle the other two into your deck. So, uh, Greg, have a good day at work tomorrow, or whatever. Um, what, are, what are we still loading here? Why are we at 87%? What's going on? What's going on, technical difficulties? Hey, I got 33 cards. That's a good sign. Um, let's drop this down here. Uh, set up some camera action. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so that's that. Um, let's get this Mythos kit up here. Um, I need another random basic weakness, so I'm going to shuffle this up, take this, and that'll work. It's not illegal for campaign play, that's the only thing I'm worried about. Um, Alright, so we're playing as Daisy, who's up at the top, boop, 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 boop. and we're going to drop her stuff right there. Uh, these are all Seeker. Action trackers. 
was right. Oh, there are, there are five right there. Right. Um, I'm going to start with five resources. And let's play... Hmm. Oh, gosh. Um... We could do like a return to Dunwich, Blood on the Altar. That's a pretty well-rounded scenario. I got 19 XP, so that seems appropriate. Uh, or I could do Path to Carcosa. I actually think that that scenario might be really hard for us because if you can't kill four health enemies very well, then you just kind of get swarmed a little bit. Um, so let's look at... We could do Unspeakable Oath, actually. That might be interesting. Um, Unspeakable Oath has... Phantom of Truth is really easy. I could do that. Unspeakable Oath has that really big map, so Esoteric Atlas could be showcased pretty well there. And... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll start with that, I think. Um, so this is my map. Uh, I want to play with one investigator and this is my lunatic deck and my monster deck and my encounter cards and some set asides. So that's all cool. Unspeakable Oath. Let's uh, bring this down here. And then let's um, let's pop this sucker up here. That's not the camera one that I want. This is going to be camera one. Stand alone. Copy this chaos bag. Go up to this point. Drop this down. And uh, let's pull these out for my own sanity here. Looks pretty good. Um, LSI at the top. This one. Oop. Stop it. Um, if you're watching the replay of this, obviously you just fast forward because watching me push around coins is not like super cool. Um, there's a lot of minus one, minus one. Wow, lots of minus ones like that. Minus two. Minus three. Um, minus four. And these are actually auto fails. Or possibly zeros. But we're going to treat them like auto fails. Um, there's a minus three. And then three skulls are minus ones. So. Okay, I feel all right. I feel all right. Um, let's make sure that I'm not forgetting anything in terms of setup. Um, uh, this is the Paris one. Yeah, it's a little far ahead. Here we go. Um, Constance Domain is not listed under VIPs interviewed or VIP slain. I did not take the Onyx clasp. And I did all that. I'll do it. Uh, I got to randomly do Asylum Halls. And. Um, I did not take the Onyx clasp, so I'm using the really bad ones version 2. Okay. Uh, version one we're not using, so we're just going to set that aside. And I did that already, so I got to randomly do these two. Cool. Um, let's go ahead and set this as a save point so that if I want to retry this, I'm okay. Uh, Tomes for Daisy. And we're set. We're ready to play. Um, all right, so Daisy's going to start at this location right here. Remove these two. 
Uh, actually, I'm not supposed to look at this yet, anyway. Let's draw our opening hand. It's going to be so good. Oh my gosh, it's going to be the greatest opening hand of all time. Hey, Daisy's tote bag. We're going to keep that. Mr. Rook is good, so we'll keep one of those. Knowledge is power. It's cool, but I don't have tomes or spells yet, so I'm not going to use those. We're going to uh, draw three more. Look at that. We got a tome to try out right away. We got a shriveling to defend ourselves from roaches. It's a good day. It's a, it's a good day for sure. Okay, so... Um, wow, 45 minutes in, and check us out. We're actually playing the game now. Alrighty, so... Let's see what we got cooking here. Uh, this is a scenario where we really want to move pretty fast, if I recall correctly. So... Um, it says each lunatic, excuse me, enemy here gets plus one horror value. Uh, so first action, we're going to move to the yard. Um, oh yeah, because it gets plus one trap for each horror on you, so doing this one later kind of sucks. And then there's also something here that says inciting a fight amongst the patients, um, which looks cool. Um, so... That was my first action. Second action, I want to start getting my tome game strong. So we're going to play Scroll of Secrets. Get out of here, Chaos Bag. That's not what I wanted. Um, I wanted you to copy this. The lag is real tonight. All right, so um, Daisy action, uh, which, by the way, let's, um, let's pull up a counter here to see how many free Daisy actions we get. Um, and we'll say, we'll pull up a d20, that seems good. Alright, so, uh, we've used how many daisy actions? One daisy action. Uh, and we're going to use a charge on scroll of secrets, and it says, uh, look at the bottom three cards of any investigator's deck or the encounter deck. I will do the encounter deck. Um, yeah, that seems pretty good. Um, so the bottom three cards I want to look at, I'm going to flip this over, and these are the bottom three. Let's take a look at this. Ooze and Filth, plus one Shroud, definitely don't care about that, that can go right on top. Descent into Madness is a Surge, it doesn't matter, Gift of Madness, that looks terrible. Alright, so I don't want a Gift of Madness, what can I do with this? I can discard one of these. And then I put the rest either on top or bottom. Um, okay, so I'm going to discard Gift of Madness. And then I'm going to put Ooze and Filth on top. And then I guess Descent into Madness also on top. Is that... I mean, because I'm just going to end up discarding it anyway, right? That's not going to do anything. Um, so, sure, I'll do that. Uh, I don't know how to do this and tabletop sim without looking at the bottom one. So I'm just going to do it and not really cheat or care. I guess what I could do is um, shuffle this. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll shuffle this uh, to restore it to its randomized, I don't know what's going on state. And then we're going to put these two right on top. That seems fine. All right, that's my daisy action. And then. Um, Last action, do I play Mr. Rook and start drawing cards, or do I investigate this right away? Uh, I will um, I'll play Mr. Rook and use him right away. And that way I get a soak, should the instance occur where I need to care about that. Um, all right, so I'm going to exhaust Mr. Rook and look at the top nine cards in my deck. I add one of those to my hand. I show my deck afterwards, right? Yeah, so I'll just look at the whole deck. All right, so uh, I have to draw one of these weaknesses, either Psychosis or uh, Through the Gates. Um, and I think the timing on this is I kind of draw them all at the same time. I probably would shuffle my deck first, right? That's, that's how I would read it. Um, 
Anyway, so one of the top nine I get to add to my hand, either Encyclopedia, another Scroll of Secrets, another Mr. Rook, a Getz. I'll take the Encyclopedia, I guess. So that goes into my hand. Um, and then I have to draw one of these to the Psychosis. I'd rather draw at the start of my turn so I could clear it right away. So I'll draw through the gates. And we'll see what happens. Um, my deck gets shuffled, and then through the gate says, draw the top card of your deck. If it's not a weakness, remove it from the game. All right, so I remove de Deny Existence from the game, and then I have to search for my other copy of Deny Existence and remove that from the game as well. Through the gates, doing work. Uh, so my last action was play Mr. Rook. That's the end of my turn. Here we go. Uh, enemy face, nothing. Upkeep, draw a card, gain a resource. Uh, everything gets reset. Um... We go up to the Mythos phase of round one, and we draw. What's it going to be? Oh, it's the Sentinel of Manus. I don't have three horror on me, so I didn't lose an action, and that surges into Ooze and Filth. Each location gets a plus one shroud. Definitely don't care about that, so we'll put that up at the top, maybe. Actually, you know what? I'm going to um, I'm gonna put it right here so I remember. I'll just put it in my threat area here. Okay, so... Um, I'm wondering what's the next best thing to do. I think I'm going to use Mr. Rook right away. And uh, look at the top nine cards of my deck again and see if I pull out the Necronomicon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I do. And I will pull out the Necronomicon, I think. I also get one other card. No, I get Psychosis, and I'll just, um, I'll deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then I need some money, so I'm actually going to choose to add Crack the Case to my hand here. I think is the correct maneuver. Um, so actions one and two, I'm going to clear Psychosis, get this out of the way. Um, oops, this is in my hand. Um... I could actually just crack the case during a turn where I'm dealing with ooze and filth. That'd be kind of fun. Um, so lastly, I could play another tome or something. I could play shriveling because this is going to advance, and then I'm going to add um, lunatics to the deck. So I actually don't want to use scroll of secrets this turn. So whatever, I'm just going to. Um, I'm going to play Shriveling, in case I draw a Lunatic. Um, and that's my turn. I'm not going to use Scroll of Secrets, because the deck's going to shuffle. So that was the Investigation phase. Enemy phase, nothing. Upkeep, draw a card, gain a resource. Using Filth goes away. All these reset, including Mr. Rook. Go up to two Doom. And we're going to shuffle the encounter discard, pile each of the set-aside Lunatic enemies into the encounter deck. So here's the Lunatics. Um, oh, I have to put in the discard pile too. Why, why do you make me do the discard pile? I must randomly choose a monster enemy and place it beneath the act deck without looking at it. All right, so here's a monster, and there it is. It's right there. Okie dokie. Then I got seven rounds to start this party, and I need to be moving right along with that stuff. Descent into Madness surges into Young Psychopath. After it engages you, I must either take a Horror or gets plus three Fight. Well, I'm going to blow it away with a Shriveling, I think. Um, I mean, I could... I don't really have a good way to evade it. I was like, it's not a Hunter, so maybe this is an okay evade, but... Unfortunately, no. All right, so... Let's see here. Uh, uh, so I'm going to take a horror. That's what's going to happen. And by that I mean Mr. Rook's going to take a horror because he's my bro. Because he's my bro. Um, okay, okay. So investigation phase. Uh, first action. I'm going to shrivel this dude. And I'll be a three on two because I'm good like that. What does that look like? Um, oh, I forgot to 
set my camera up here. Um, three on two is like a coin flip. That kind of sucks. I'm not going to commit Daisy's tote bag, so uh, yeah, I'll just do it. That's fine. Um, all right, so first action, I'm going to shrivel this sucker. I'm a three on two. Wish me luck. Uh, minus two didn't work. Okay, shriveling round two, one up, zero. Okay, I did it. Daisy, you did it. I'm so proud of you. Uh, and then last action. Um, I'm going to investigate. I want to get that done. So I'm a five on what? One? One. Five on one. And skulls are minus one. So that's cool. Let's move this slightly over here. Cool. Maybe over here. Yeah, cool. All right. So um, I got the clue. And I can move on from this wretched place. Um, before I do, it's Mr. Rook. Use him up. Um, look at the top nine cards of my deck. One, two, three, four. I could have done this to start, maybe. And then found... Um, oh, I could have banished that enemy, maybe. I didn't have enough money for it. Uh, four cups. I could have pulled out a Guts and then have gotten it on the first try. Which would be cool. Um, I don't have enough money for four of cups yet, but I will eventually. Um, I could pull up a rapture to keep the shriveling going, pull up another shriveling. There's a lot of good stuff here. Another Mr. Rook to keep the Mr. Rook going. Um, I don't know. I guess I want the four of cups sooner than later, right? So we'll pull that sucker out. Where are my grizzly totems at? I have that in my deck, right? Oh, I think I put in the wrong version of Grizzly Totem. Whoops. Um, all right, so that gets shuffled. And then um, Secret Flip lets you use uh, Scroll Secrets and look at the bottom three cards of the Encounter deck. And this looks very familiar. So Willpower Test, um, which would deal to horror, which I actually don't mind terribly. Gift of Madness is generally pretty bad, so I'm going to discard that. And then the question is, would I rather see the yellow sign than some other random enemy? And I think so. I don't have Madness Weaknesses left in my deck, so I kind of don't care about that. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And... Uh, I don't know if that's smart or not. I don't know what I'm doing. It's fine. Everything's great. Enemy phase, nothing. Upkeep phase, draw a card, gain a resource. Knowledge is power. That is true. Well said. Go to the top. One doom out of seven. I'm going to draw Descent to the Madness. I have uh, no horror on me, so that surges into the yellow sign. I'm just going to take this on the chin and hope that I don't draw a skull. And then I'll uh, take uh, two horror here. Uh, minus two, so I'm a one on four. I fail. I'm gonna take two horror at a nine, which ain't ain't too bad. Oh, I'm with the two two tone actions. Um, stop that! No, you just you're just right there. You're a two. Stop that. Okay. And uh, I have to search my deck for a madness weakness. Uh, I will confirm that the only weakness in my deck is the Necronomicon, which is not a madness. Yeah, it's actually giving me the wrong grizzly totem here. I don't know if I did that or if it's coding in that deck builder. But if that gets played out, uh, I'll double check what the stats are on it. So um, no madness weakness. That's all that happens. So take two horror. Okay. Uh, investigation phase. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, instigate a riot while we're here. Incited a fight amongst the patients. Uh, so my first action, I'm going to take a damage and do that thing. And I'm going to mark that with this token here. Um, so I have done the thing in the yard. Um, I'm at a lot of cards here. 
Um, so I'm going to play something. Do I play Daisy's Toad Bag? I think I do. Um, so I'm going to play Daisy's Toad Bag. It's my second action. Third action, I'm going to move. And we're going to end up here. So hopefully, we don't draw any lunatics, right? Oh, speaking of, let's not draw any lunatics with the Scroll of Secrets. Um, this is my third tome action, and I'm going to look at the bottom cards of the um, stuff that. Just show me a three. Thank you. Uh, let's look at the bottom cards of the encounter deck here. We got Corrosion, which I definitely don't want, a Maniac, which I don't want, and Whispers in Your Head, which I don't want. So I can discard some of, I can discard one of these. If I don't put any of them on top, though, then I, the future actions with the Scroll of Secrets are really bad. So which one's the worst? Do you think Corrosion? Um, I could time it, possibly, to only discard something at like a Shroud of Two. And then I could just ditch a Tome from my hand. So I guess it's not the worst one. Um, Maniac, get the enemies out. And, oops, oh, I'll shuffle that in a second. And then, um, Whispers in Your Head, I can't use Mr. Rug. That's fine. So whispers in your head goes on top, and corrosion goes on bottom. So flip this, shuffle it. Corrosion's going to go on bottom, um, and then whispers in your head is going to go on top. Okay, uh, it's my turn. So enemy phase still nothing. Upkeep phase. Draw a card. Gain a resource. Reset Scroll of Secrets, it's still in play. I could possibly use Enraptured to restock it. Get all my actions back, go up to the top. Take a Doom, and I'm going to draw Whispers in Your Head, Anxiety. So I can't use Mr. Rook right now, but that's mostly fine, I think. Uh, so let's go find some clues, huh? Because I need how many clues to do the to do the basement thing? I need like three of them. Um, I guess I don't really care about victory points, do I? Um, so, um, first action I'm going to move to keep moving forward. We can evade lunatics at this location. Um, I could. I kind of need money with Crack the Case. So I'm going to find that high shroud. Boom, here it is. Um, after basement halls reveal, put the four set aside patient confinement locations into play, uh, which are probably set aside here. Um, we're going to put these out. Bing, bing, bing. Bing. Um, And uh, I guess I gotta investigate here, huh? So is there a card I can commit to make some money? Because I moved twice, and now I'm gonna investigate. And I'm gonna commit a card. So here's the thing: I could use knowledge as power right now. Um, on um, encyclopedia and then get plus two investigate for this that's not a very good use of that uh, that will actually be better if I needed to shrivel something so I don't think there's a lot of two clue locations here so I'm actually just going to commit this deduction this is on my turn by the way um, so I'm at a Five, six on four, and it'd be nice to be three up on this. 
Wouldn't it be nice? Um, <sighs> discarding I've got a plan feels real bad for me. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave it at this. And I've got icons that I can burn next turn if I need to. All right, so I'm two up on this test. Five, six on four. All right, so I can either randomly choose an enemy from among the set-aside monsters and place it beneath the act deck, or this test automatically fails. Um, if I pass, I don't have to discard a card at the end of my turn, and I get four bucks right now and keep up the tempo. Um, if I fail, I do the exact same test first action next turn, and then I gotta move back to one of these other locations to investigate there. Um, I'm gonna try adding the monster and make it a zero. Um, There'll be two monsters, and that'll be fine, right? Everything's fine. Cool. Uh, so I discovered a clue at the basement hall, and then that should be a shroud of four, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. So we're going to fast action crack the case, and I will gain four resources, uh, which feels really good. So enemies, nothing. Upkeep, draw a card, gain a resource. Flip, flip, flip. Um, I'd love to get another tome down here at some point. Uh, we'll go up to Mythos phase. We're at two Doom. And we're going to draw a mystery card. Walls closing in. It's willpower. Oh, gosh. Uh, it's take a horror for each point you fail by. Oh, man. That's a drag. Um, I could commit knowledge's power. I could take it on the chin. Uh, I'll probably take like three horror from this. Use Mr. Rook to soak one. I got nine horror. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Plus one. No way. What? So I'm a three, four on four. Uh. Damn, it feels good to be a gangsta. That feels great. Okay. So I need another clue, right? Oh, could I not even enter here? I screwed that up. All right, well, that's fine. Let's keep playing like everything's cool. Um, sorry about that. Let's take a look at what the Grizzly Totem is actually supposed to do. Uh, I think that's available over here. And we got to track down a Grizzly Boy. Um, boop, 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 boop. Okay. So let's see, there's two of these in my deck. One of them's in my hand. Let's go ahead and switch this other one out. Oop. Oop. And um, that's got a little power on it. That's cool, that's cool. Uh, I can get it down so I can be a better commit friend. Uh, I think I want to get four cups down. Um, first action, I'm going to play four cups. My tarot slot for three, so now my willpower is four, so it's not quite so garbage. Um, second action, I guess I'll move up here to the asylum halls. And man, I feel like I'm really botching this scenario. But also, I feel like I need to play like every single asset, and I, I don't have. I don't remember having like an insane number of assets in this deck, but maybe I'm just drawing them all. Um, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll just move again. Move to the infirmary. Heal one damage or take one direct horror, etc., etc. Um, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. And it's got a clue on it. All right. So move, move. Those are my last two actions. Boom. Draw a card. Gain a resource. That's all. We're talking upkeep. Now we're in mythos. Go up to four doom scenarios. Halfway over. Whispers in your head. Cannot move more than once each turn. Yeah, that's got to go. Uh, so we're going to get rid of whispers in my head because it's real bad. And um, I guess I don't have to get rid of it yet, right? Because I could 
Play Grizzly Totem, Investigate, Play Scroll of Secrets, Manage the Encounter Deck. Here, let's try that. So that's still in my hand. Um, all right, so first action, we're going to play Grizzly Totem. Um, second action, we're going to Investigate. Uh, I'm currently a five on three. I'm going to exhaust Grizzly Totem and use the deduction. Uh, so this gains another intellect icon. So I'm a five, six, seven on three, minus four. Dang. Dang, that feels good. Uh, and then what does it say? If that skill test is successful, draw a card. Okay, I think I will. I like it. I think I will. I got another Grizzly Totem, which is cool. I got this clue, which is cool. Um, and then last action, I'm going to play Scroll of Secrets for one. And then Daisy action number four. I'm going to use said Scroll of Secrets. Look at the bottom three cards of the encounter deck. What's my shroud here, by the way? Three. Okay. Cool. So flip it. Uh, we got Corrosion, we got Ooze and Filth, and we got the Yellow Sign. So I think I might... I mean, none of these are that terrible. Ooze and Filth is the one I care about the least. So that's definitely going to go on top. I could take the Corrosion now and ensure that I've got the the way to deal with it. Yeah, and Yellow Sign's kind of lame. So uh, although it's only two horror... I could put some of the horror on Mr. Rook. Uh, I'll discard it. Uh, I'm actually going to choose to take the corrosion, which feels like madness, but whatever. This is madness, you know? Uh, Ooze and Filth goes on top, and now I'm stacked for the next two rounds, which is pretty good. Okie dokie, enemy phase, nothing. Upkeep, draw, resource, reset, reset, flip, 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 flip. And we go up to the top, five, and we draw corrosion. Discard, I'm. Assets from play and or your hand with total printed cost of at least X for X and shroud value. So I'm a shroud of three. I'm going to discard this grizzly token. Ta-da! Uh, so that's cool. That's real groovy. Um, I did it. That's my turn. Okay. Um, all right. So. Now I'm going to talk to that nurse. Oh, you know, I need to... Um, I'm actually going to need another clue, aren't I? Um, yeah, I'm going to have to move back here. I was dumb. It's okay. So... Let's uh, spend these three clues in advance. Uh, and then I have to decide one way that I'm going to ruse this lady. I'm going to choose books because I'm good at books. Um, I got to test four intellect. I'm a five on four right now, which isn't mind blowing. I'm going to commit. I've got a plan to this and use Grizzly Totem. So I'm a five, six. Keep up here. Keep up here. Um, five, six, seven on four. Plus one. Cool. So I was successful. I draw a card from Grizzly Totem. I uh, advance to Act 2A. Um, and this says ignore the text on Arkham Asylum locations. The basement is not supposed to have Arkham Asylum. So I still have to use clues to enter the cells, which means I'm going to need another clue. Uh, so I'm going to move. And then I'm going to clear Whispers in my head dread. Um, and then I'm going to use uh, my daisy action number five on this uh, scroll of secrets here. Might as well. Oh, another filth, a patient, and a corrosion. So corrosion stupid. 
patients are also kind of stupid. I'm really bad at enemies, so I'm pretty tempted to discard the mad patient. Um, but then I have to keep corrosion in my deck. Um, Ooze and Filth is for sure going to go on top. Because I don't care about that. I could put Corrosion on top as well, and I'll have to discard my leftover Scroll of Secrets for one, and then maybe the Encyclopedia from my hand, which I haven't been able to afford to even get on the table yet. Um, but I would like to get that Encyclopedia in play, actually. So, um, yeah, Corrosion's kind of dumb. Let's get rid of that. And then um, I can draw the Mad Patient later, just not right now. So we're going to put the Patient on top. And the Ooze of Filth. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, enemies, nothing. Upkeep. Draw. Resource. Reset. Reset. Flip, flip, flip. Flip. Go to the top. We're at six Doom already. Wow. What a... What a time to be alive. And I draw who's in filth. Push my shroud to everything. That seems fine. Um, Alright, so first action we're gonna move over here. Um, second action. So what I could do is use Grizzly Totem to pump, because right now this is a shroud of four. I'm a five on four to get this clue. Um, or I could commit Curiosity. I would like to keep drawing with Grizzly Totem. So that'd be kind of cool. Or I could get Encyclopedia into play. I'm actually going to do Encyclopedia. But anyway. um, so I've got four hand slots, and I'm only using two of them right now. Um, so second action, I'm going to play Encyclopedia. Daisy action, number six. I'm going to use Encyclopedia to pump my intellect up by two. And then last action, I'm going to um, investigate. So I'm a seven, five, six, seven on four. Minus one. Okay. Got me a clue. Woo! going at the speed of sound on this one, huh? Uh, that's all upkeep business I just did. This goes away. Go to the top of the mythos, and we're going to advance, which I don't remember what happens here. The yellow sign. I must randomly choose um, an enemy from among the set-aside monster enemies and shuffle it into the encounter deck without looking at it. Okay. Oh, shuffle it into the encounter deck. Do I have to do the discard pile as well? No. But uh, that does throw off my um, ooze and filth play again, which is a bummer. Uh, then I gotta find Constance, who is set up somewhere else, probably in here. Uh, no, she's not. Interesting. What about uh, bystanders? Sickening Reality, I think, is the deck that I'm looking for. Um, Constance, here we go. Okay, that goes in here. Constance spawns in the yard. Garden. Garden? Yard? Where does she spawn? Um... Spawn her in the garden. Okay, well, cool. Uh, well, probably not going to kill her. But I can probably evade her. So that's good. It doesn't work on elites. And she is definitely the elite. Okay, cool. Um, and then I got to draw my encounter card. And it is a rope swarm. So we're going to shrivel this hoss. Right? I'm sure we will. Okay. Uh, first action of my turn, we're going to shrivel. 
Shrivel, 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 do, 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 shrivel, shrivel, shrivel. All right, so it's um, a three fight. I'm three, four. Um, I'll commit curiosity. I think. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, I have six cards in hand, so that's plus two. Um, three, four, five, six on three. And uh, I'm going to use the Grizzly Totem. Make it seven on three. Minus one. Um, oh, I didn't really need to do that, did I? That's okay. Draw a card with Grizzly Totem. Uh, get rid of the Roach one. Dead Roaches. And then um, two, three. Go move back to the basement hall. Uh, let's um, use a seeker action on Scroll of Secrets. Look at the bottom three. Uh, so straight jacket seems terrible. So we're going to discard that. I forgot about that in the scenario. This was not a good one to test on. Uh, willpower test to deal horror. That's not bad. And then dismay. Cannot commit cards to skill tests. That's real bad too. So I'm going to put walls closing in on top. I guess I put them both on top. Um, whoops. I didn't see that. It's okay. Um... Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Um, Oogie. That was my, uh, whatever, enemy phase. Constance hunts. Um, upkeep phase, draw a card, gain a resource. Necronomicon has arrived. And now I have one, two, three, four hand slots. Wow. A lot of hand slots. Necronomicon has three horror on it. So we'll drop that there. And now my auto succeeds or auto fails. Sorry, my um, whatever it's called. Elder Signs. Uh, I haven't been checking up on... Oh, Andre, I'm sorry. I know you posted that a long time ago. I was kind of wondering about where the Necronomicon was. Um... I don't think it's affected anything so far, except that I actually get like a proper card draw right now. I'm just not going to worry about it. Um, but I, I was like, man, I, I'm, where's that Necronomicon? At? You know, it's got to be somewhere. All right, I uh, cannot commit skills to skill tests. That's bad. Oh wait, skill cards to skill tests? Well, it's less bad because um, I can still commit other stuff, so it's cool. Uh. I appreciate everyone who's watching. This is a Daisy deck that I'm trying out for the first time. Uh, I kind of built it earlier. Um, it's got a bunch of tomes in it, as you can see. Um, and I'm just having a grand old time. Um, where's my game? Here it is. Okay, sorry. I was just doing uh, some other window maintenance. Uh, really would have liked to get another copy of Mr. Rook sooner to kind of pull out some key pieces, but you know what? We started with the uh, Daisy's bag in hand, so what can you do? And I can't even trigger his ability right now. So there's that. All right, well, uh, let's go check out um, what's going on in one of these places, huh? Uh, so first action, we're going to move into patient confinement, number one, and we're going to advance to Act 2B. Okay, well, as an additional cost to enter, I had to do that. And we're going to advance to Act 2B. Um, so this is where Daniel gets real messed up. His bones twist and snap. His body warps and grotesquely. Love that. Love that text. Spawn the set aside. Daniel Chesterfield at patient confinement. Okie dokie. Well... Fortuitous for us, because otherwise we were going too slow to kind of 
deal with this. All right. Uh, Daniel Chesterfield, or at least what's left of him. 3-4-3. Three, three. Can we kill him? Worth a victory point. Stand alone. Maybe I don't care. Uh, he's elite, so I can't use Banish. That's a shame. Uh, did I forget to move Constance recently? No. No, I'm good. Okay. Um... Is he Hunter? No, I can just ditch him in here. If I wanted to. I don't have any clues, so I've got a plan. It's not very useful. I have a couple knowledge of powers. Um, so I can try blasting him with a shri uh, shriveling charge. Right? Um, oh! Okay, so let's try this. This is this could be fun. Here we go. So I'm gonna fast play knowledge is power. Uh, choose a tome or spell asset you control or one from your hand. I'm gonna choose encyclopedia. Resolve an action ability on that asset, ignoring all costs, including its action costs. So I'm going to exhausting it is also a cost I don't have to worry about. So I'm just gonna choose to get plus two willpower for the rest of this turn. If it was in your hand, you can discard it to draw one card. I will not. All right, so thanks to Knowledge's power, I'm going to put it here, I guess, to remind me. I'm at a three, four, five, six willpower. I'm a six on three, and that's pretty good. So I'm going to shrivel. And we're going to hope this works uh, as my second action. Zero. Cool. That's two damage. Um, no, don't draw him. I just want this to be a two. Uh, for that. And I could. I can't banish him. So we're gonna try it one more time. Might as well, right? So I'm gonna choose a shriveling that is in play. Again, it doesn't take an action. That seems groovy. Um, and I'm going to shrivel them. So I'm a three, four, five, six. Minus two. Uh, that's good enough for me. That's enough to kill Daniel Chesterfield, and we'll put him in the victory display. Um, so, yeah, really cool knowledge is power turn. Honestly, the fact that it's fast. That was the thing that made it really good. I still have an extra action and technically uh, a daisy action. So, um, let's see, this is a two shroud. I mean, I could technically use a daisy action to pump my intellect even higher if I wanted to. It's not going to do much of anything. Um, so, I'm going to investigate here. Because uh, I'm going to need to set off more traps and crap in order for me to be able to leave this accursed place. Uh, so I'm uh, five on two. Is that good enough? Yeah, it's good enough. Minus one. Okay. Uh, so I get the clue, and I still have a free daisy action, so I'm actually going to take a horror from the Necronomicon. And I'm leaving Mr. Rook here to soak damage because I only got five health. Uh, great, that was my turn. Pretty neat. Um, enemy phase. Constance is going to hunt again. We're going to draw a card and upkeep. Nope, nope, nope. You did it wrong. You did it wrong. It was Mr. Rook. Sorry. Uh, the lag. The lag tonight is really getting to me. Upkeep. Draw Mr. Rook. Uh, flip, flip, flip. Flip. Um... Uh, Mind Over Matter would have probably been fine, because I am playing standalone, so the XP doesn't matter. Um, but I figured I could use the Mind Over Matter with uh, Constance if I need to, or other enemies, and I kind of wanted to see if I could actually kill something with this deck. So, But yeah, I think Mind Over Matter would have been totally fine. Daniel's not a hunter. In true standalone, I don't care about XP, so uh, good point, Andre. Um... Is that it? I drew my card. I gave my resource. Things are looking up for me. 
Knowledge is power is free? Free to play? Is that what that card was? Wow, that's, that's not bad. Uh, all right, Mythos Phase, we go up to two Doom. Six rounds remain. Not looking great. Walls closing in is a willpower. Um, I could commit something to this because I'm only a four on... Oh, but two. Four on two. Uh, yeah, I'll just take that on the chin. Uh, minus three, right? So I was three, four on two. Minus three is one. I am at a two shroud, confirm. Indeed. Uh, so I have to take a horror for each point I fail by, which is one. Great. Done. Investigation phase. Uh, first action, we're going to move here. Oops. Uh, second action, I'm going to move here. And I have to spend a clue to do that. And then this is a five shroud. So you better believe I'm going to use my daisy action on encyclopedia to give myself plus two. And then um, I'm going to commit I've got a plan and use grotesque statue. I think, because this is a five, so I'm a five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm committing I've got a plan because I'm just using all my clues to spend the clues. Uh, so yeah, I'm a nine on five. Uh, good enough. Uh, Grotesque statue draws me a card. Wow, it turns like it literally turns like every card into a cantrip. That's pretty good. Uh, and I get this clue. Okay, that's my turn. Enemy phase. Uh, Constance comes ever closer. And then we go to upkeep. Flip, 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 Adelphia. Draw a card, gain a resource. And Raptured is going to put another um, charge on my Shriveling. I should probably get down my other Shriveling, honestly. Um, because what if I draw an enemy? Oh, I, I bet you I just jinxed myself, didn't I? Yeah, okay, three Doom. Yeah, I drew an enemy. Yeah, okay. After it engages you, it takes a damage. And oh, but it's not a hunter. So that's good. Um, interesting. And then I have to take a damage. I'm going to put that on Mr. Rook. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, all right, so what am I? How am I going to deal with this guy? So I can use mind over matter, but I just have to evade him once, and his evasion is one, which is like not much. I could commit banish, maybe for two with the grizzly totem. Um, I could play banish. Um, but he's not really in my way. So I'm going to try evading him by committing Encyclopedia. Grizzly Totem. So I am Daisy, so I have a 2, 3 with Encyclopedia, 4 with Grizzly Totem on 1. This is my first action. And that's minus 1. Great. Uh, so he's evaded, and he's going to stay here. Um, I draw a card. Oh, I totally should have used Mind Over Matter because I got to test freaking Might 2 over here. Uh, that was stupid. All right, well, uh, Daisy Action on Encyclopedia to pump my strength by 2. Uh, let's try to get... Uh, oh, I'm going to... Ugh. Ugh. Oh, man. I'm in a real pickle. Uh, I'm going to... Do I even care about the side quest right now? Yeah. I should have played Mind Over Matter this turn instead of done the encyclopedia thing. Let's say... Uh, this is just deck test, right? So, like, let's say I do that instead. All right. So, first action is evade with Mind Over Matter, and I haven't used encyclopedia or grotesque statue or Daisy's ability. I still have encyclopedia. Okay. So first action, Mind Over Matter, and I evaded him. I drew the whatever. Okay. Mind Over Matter is still affecting my turn. So second action, I'm going to release the patient from his bonds. Uh, I'm a five on two. 
and I succeed. So I successfully did this little quest thing. Um, man, if I had that freaking movement tome, oh my god. That would be the greatest thing right now. Um, I think I'm going to play Mr. Rook third action, and he can soak some of this damage for me. Um, can I commit skill cards to skill tests? Okay. I guess that's the right move. And then next turn, I'm going to evade move. Evade? Gosh! Well, uh, I got him down, so I'm going to... Oh, I can't use him, right? Because I still got this stupid thing here. Okay, fine. All right, I don't know if that's right or not. Um, in theory, it's a better use of my resources. So I got that going for me. Enemy phase, she hunts, upkeep phase, the maniac re-engages us. Yeah, he goes up to two damage, and Mr. Rook is going to take a damage. I draw a card, gain a resource. Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't use my Daisy Action last turn, did I? So uh, we'll take a horror from this. And then... Um, Four doom out of eight. Things are looking mighty not good. Mighty not good. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Well, we got to try a lot of cool things here, team. But um, it's the third elite enemy we had to fight, and Banish is not helping us there. So. Um. And uh, in order to evade this thing, I need to evade out of five. Okay, well. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, I, I mean, I think we're pretty much done. I'll uh, play it out a little bit. Let's uh, banish first action to get rid of the Maniac. Use my willpower to evade, so I'm a four on one, um, which is a minus one, so that's good enough. And I drew a special token, so he doesn't ready during the upkeep phase, and I can put him anywhere on the map. So he's in the kitchen now. I banished him to the kitchen. Time's up. That's what I gotta say about banishing someone to the kitchen. Uh, so I'll just leave banished next to that dude. Um, I guess I do I try to evade this guy and then move out what's her oh, her evade is only one yeah okay so I think I got to use mind over matter here uh, I'm gonna evade again uh, I'm at a five on five which isn't good enough so I'm gonna commit encyclopedia which is a six on five. Oh, but I'm using my um, my intellect this turn so I'm gonna actually use curiosity uh, so that gives me two extra icons because I got four more cards in my hand so I'm at a five six seven grizzly total makes that an eight uh, this is my second action Uh, minus one. Okay, so evaded. Um, I draw a card from Grizzly Totem. Esoteric Atlas! A revealed location is exactly two connections away from your location. Within that location. Okay. Um, so then, last action, I think I gotta move into the fray. And Constance engages me. Mind over matter. Is no longer in effect. Enemy phase, Constance is going to deal me two damage, uh, one of which is going to go on to Mr. Rook. I think. Did I use my daisy action that turn? I don't think I did. Well, 
Oh, I got three cards left in my deck. I'll leave Necronomicon here. That's fine. Uh, so Mr. Rook goes away. Um, one, two, three. Rook goes away. And I take a damage from Constance. And then upkeep phase, draw a card. Gain a resource. The other correct case, which would have been helpful because I'm real, real broke. Uh, I got three turns left, so this is not going to happen. Um, while it's closing in, I'm a four willpower. Um, wait. I committed this encyclopedia, right? Yeah, I did. That shouldn't be in my hand. Okay. Um, all right, let's take horror freeze point fail by. That can't be bad, right? Minus one. So I'm a three, four, minus one is three on, oh, shroud value, which is um, four. So I fail by one, I'll take a horror. Okay. I gotta evade this home fry somehow. Um, I think I'm just one up on this evasion. And we'll hope that it's okay. So first action, evade. I'm a two on one. That's a auto fail. Or I could add a, a monster enemy. Which is tempting. If there's three monsters in here, I mean, I'm going to lose anyway, right? So that's fine. It's a zero. Um, so she's evaded. Uh, second action that's moving to patient confinement. That should cost me a clue. Um, And then I got a, oh my god, I, there's still so many things I have to do. Oh no, I just got to do this and then I can start warping my way out. Uh, so uh, it was evade, move, and then I'm going to do this little questy. Test willpower, X is the amount of horror on you. So it's f testing willpower of five. Um, which is gross. So I'm going to use Daisy on Encyclopedia. So I'm a three, four, five, six on five minus one. Can't say that the chaos bag has been too mean to me because it's been just fine. All right. Um, Constance is chilling. Upkeep phase. Everything readies. Flip, 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 draw. Guts I can't use right now for reasons. Um, and then we go up to the top for the Mythos phase. Six, two rounds remain. I think my chances are not good. Dance of the Yellow King. No lunatic enemies in play. Gain surge, otherwise test willpower three. If you fail, the nearest lunatic enemies ready moves one location at a time until it reaches you, engages you, and makes an immediate attack. So much for Banish. Oh no, uh, it would actually be Constance. I don't want to do that. I can't use Guts though. So I just a four on three, looks like. Three, four. And I could add another monster? Sure, that's fine. Totally fine. Keep adding monsters, man. Nothing, nothing bad's going to happen there. Um, and I pass. Okay. <laughs> oh man, that's real bad. Okay, so first action, I'm going to play Esoteric Atlas, and that's going to overwrite a scroll of secrets. And one, two, three, four hand slots. Okay. Um, spend with secret and exhaust Esoteric Atlas. Choose a reveal location. It's actually, I have to exhaust it though. That's a shame. All right, so second, nope, Daisy action, number seven. I wonder if I've forgotten to do that. Maybe I'm like an encyclopedia or something. I'm going to use Esoteric Atlas. And we're going to... Oh, I had to spend three money on this. Don't worry. Uh, choose a reveal location that's exactly two connections away from you and move to that location. So I'm going to move here. One, two. Um, third action. We're going to move. And fourth action. We're going to move. Is that right? Did I do that right? Oh, and uh, Vanish is gone. And that guy's going to ready next turn. Okay, that's my turn. Move, 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 move. Actually, that's got to be revealed. Never mind. 
Never mind. Uh, so it did let me hop over Constance. If I had gotten this maybe not the last turn of the game, I feel like this would be really good. Uh, okay, so that was my turn. Enemy phase, Constance hunts. Um, upkeep phase. Maniac readies. Uh, I draw a card. Gain a resource. Um, flip, flip, flip. I don't think I take a horror until this gets shuffled back in because I need to draw or whatever. But uh, two guts on the bottom of my deck too. That would have been nice. Uh, seven. I gotta win this turn, I guess. Gift of Madness, and I can't trigger abilities on locations. No. I think I lost. Um. Oogie. Well, that's fine. Investigation phase. First action move. Um. Second action. Investigate. I'm a five. On three. But I committed enraptured. Everyone remembers that, right? When I committed enraptured and used grotex, whatever. Five, six, seven. I've already lost. That's why I'm cheating. Uh, seven on three gives me a charge on shriveling. I succeed. I get the clue. Um, and then I'm going to use the daisy action to use encyclopedia and pump my, oh, I was supposed to draw a card here. So I take a horror. I draw, I've got to play my computer. Uh, uh, use the daisy action to pump my agility, my running foots. Oh, let's use uh, crack the case. Why not? I get three resources. And then, um, I'm going to test this. I'm a four on two. Wish me luck. Elder Sign, which is an auto fail. So I don't succeed. Okay, well, enemy phase, uh, Constance hunts, and then this advances, and I lost. Um, I don't know. What, what did you think? I mean, I felt like there were some really neat tricks in there. I really wanted that movement tome a lot earlier. Maybe it would be nice to have two of those for consistency. But I kind of figured that Mr. Rook was going to help me find it if I needed it. And it seemed like the most specialized tome out of all of them. Um, so let's, um, let's head back over to the screen where we can... Ooh, it's my Facebook. Let's, uh, let's head back over to this and figure out if there's any changes we're going to make. And then I'll play one more and we'll call it good. Um, so I feel like Deny Existence, even though we didn't get to play it, is still worthwhile because... Sorry, it keeps bouncing all over the place. Um, because I don't want to take damage. Uh, and that scenario is very damage light, so that's fortuitous, but, you know, I think Deny Existence is going to be, it would have been nice, I think, in a lot of ways. Um, I really felt like I was playing a ton of assets, and I'm wondering if there's a way I can clean that up. Grizzly Totem I could drop for some other stuff, I guess. I only have one copy of Enraptured in here. Four of Cups I thought was pretty good, particularly since I didn't have um, Holy Rosary in there, but the Rosary still might be better. I could do Rosary, Shriveling Mists. That's so many assets, though. I really don't want that. Scroll of Secrets? Um, it was okay. I don't know if it's worth 3 XP, but I did like basically being able to stack my encounter deck pretty well. Um, Encyclopedia, I think, was good. Divermus Mysteries wouldn't have done anything for us that game, so I'm fine with Encyclopedia over Divermus. Uh, money is a little bit bad. Uh, my cost curve is gross because I have so many three-cost things. Um... So, I don't know. I think Crack the Case is still pretty good. I definitely like it more than Emergency Cash. So, that seems fine. 
Um, enemies are still real scary. Um, yeah, you're right, Decatur. Mr. Rook would have been better, but that particular scenario, I couldn't use his effect. And so this, by the time I got him out, he was just kind of like an expensive soak, which wasn't ideal. But he would have pulled out my Esoteric Atlas. I don't know. So that scenario is particularly movement intensive, which is why I was so hungry for the Atlas. I'm wondering if most other scenarios, I wouldn't care that much. Um, so maybe we play one from, maybe we play a Dunwich scenario and see how we do there. Um, uh, Andre, thanks for joining us, man. Um, it looks like uh, Andre's going to try out the Occult Lexicon. He's really excited for that. And then he just thinks Pathfinder is straight up better than Esoteric Atlas, and he might not be wrong. Um, so... Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you, uh, see you next time I do a random thing. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I could drop Banish, maybe. It seems kind of cool. I'll, I'll just try this deck again, I think. Uh, and we'll just try it in a different scenario. Huh? Um, so, let's clean this crap up, huh? Um, get rid of that, get rid of that. Uh, I think I'm just going to reset, actually. That's fine. Um, and we'll just make a new... We'll just make a new boy. A new one. Um, so we'll go back to the game here. Oops, let's add my face. What up? Now you can see me again. Um, this is control two, control one, and control zero. Uh, at some point I've been meaning to make a how to use tabletop sim for Arkham video. Uh, I haven't made it yet, but if you think that would be cool, good. Then I'm gonna, I, will, I will do that. Um, let's add our deck to the stream. And um, what scenario are we going to do? Should we do a Dunwich? I could do a TCU. I think I'll do Dunwich so that my buddy Greg can watch. Because that's pretty much all he's playing. Um, I got drawing the sign. And then I'm also going to add Indebted. Sure. That's fine. Um, that's actually going to be a pain in the butt, and then it is. Um, and let's do some Daisy, Daisy Town. Um, I could try Blood on the Altar. That's a usually pretty good litmus test scenario. Um, let's. I'll do Return to Blood on the Altar just for funds. Um, return scenario, higher guns get set aside out of play. Um, try with new village, common silent decay, it's done that. Remove one, th add all the new locations and then do them all, and then everything's random. When placing encounter cards underneath locations, do not include the six cards from Gnomes Creek Counter Set. And Bone to Pick, I assume that we do. Um, we do not have a Bone to Pick. Okay. We were not delayed to Dunwich. And I'm just going to try to save as many sacrifices as I can. Okay. Cool. Um... It's lagging on me here. There you go. Oh my! Oh my gosh! Just let me read the darn card. Not include six cards. Placing counter cards underneath locations. 
Get each copy of Hired Gun. Is that this one? Nope. Um, and because they don't have a bone to pick, I don't even use the O'Banion gang at all, do I? Alright, cool. Well, um, let's uh, roll a die to see which one of these we're going to not do. Um, objects, components, dice, plastic, day six. Alright. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, that's the one we remove. Four, one, two, three, four, we're not using the church. So now I just gotta figure out this mess. I feel like it goes something, a little, uh, something like this. Let's see how close I got. We're not very close. Alright, so this is connected to... Um, red, green, and purple. So not blue. Um, and we removed green. So there's red. Um, Osborne's is connected to those two. That's right. Uh, then this is connected to the plus, the yellow, and the house of the reeds. And then this is connected to yellow blue and yeah so that goes in here and that is a weird map wow okay cool um, I'm gonna save this again just in case we want to replay it and I think we're good oh let's do a uh, standalone here and shuffle that encounter deck. Potential sacrifices. We got five of them. Possibly another one for Mr. Rook. Let's go ahead and draw our opening hand. Um, Shriveling's good. Mind over matter's good. Banish is fine. I don't care about that. Mind over matter. Actually, would rather get more assets to set up. And then Daisy's tote bag. That's interesting because part of the point of this deck is to have this and use it. But there's a lot of other things I really would like before that. And I don't even have the money for it. So I'm actually going to mulligan Daisy's tote bag for the sake of trying to find more money or more important assets. And here's another four. And they're terrible. Okay. Well, that's a drag. Um, but what can you do? Um... Oogie doogie, Smokey. Daisy's indebted. So she poor. And she doesn't have cracked the case. Oh, but she starts... Where she start? Wow. And then action trackers. Uh, yellow. And I think we're good. So. Um, I feel like s there's a chance that like enemies could spawn. So I'm going to try playing a Shriveling. Um, I don't remember what the asset hate is like around here. Bishop's Brook or the Schoolhouse. Honestly, Esoteric Atlas would be good here too. The way that the map is shaped, it's really weird. And there's going to be some backtracking. Um, so I'll just try going to the Schoolhouse, I guess. Daisy likes books, right? Oh, I didn't um, randomly choose amongst these locations. One, two, one, two. Um, and we're going to put all those together along with those and those. And they are all removed from play. So I really don't have any idea what to expect here, which is cool. Way cool. Uh, so anyway, Schoolhouse Flips. Cannot discover clues except by investigating. Oh, I got to um, do the thing where I put all the encounter cards underneath these. So here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Remember, I'm looking for the... Oh, I did it wrong. So there's these three. Plus, I need the key. And the 
hidden chamber. So here's our five. Group them, shuffle them. Oops. And now we're going to distribute these. So one, two, three, four, and five. Cool. Um, all right, you can now discover clues to accept by investigate. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll probably do that. Um, although, it would be really nice to have Crack the Case in hand before I did that. So, second action, I'm going to draw for Crack the Case. Daisy's Toad Bank. Did I shuffle my deck? I think I did. I don't know if I did. Uh, I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm going to shuffle again just to make sure that we have a good test. Okay. Well, and... Um, I can't play Encyclopedia, so I will take a resource so I can play it next turn. Okay. Anyway, phase nothing. I'll keep. Uh, we're going to draw a card and gain a resource. Drawing the sign. i got to discard two cards. Let's get rid of it. I've got a plan. Knowledge of power was pretty cool. Willpower tests are pretty relevant. I guess I'll get rid of it. Knowledge of power. Fine. That's what I get. Um, and I'm going to use that in a second. Okay, so get my actions back. Go to the top for the first Mythos phase. That's nice and shuffled. And I draw. Kidnapped. If it fail, take two damage. Gross. Willpower four. I can get it to willpower five, but I don't know if that's any good or not. Let's take a look at the chaos bank here. Uh, there's two minus threes, one of each of the negative tokens. What are those like? Uh, so there's three minus threes in the bag, a uh, bunch of minus twos. If you fail out a clue from the token pool of your location. And then skulls are minus one right now. Uh, I think I'm just going to take this on the chin. I'll just take the two damage. Oh, but Psychopomp Song is this. Oh, man. Uh, whatever. I'll do it. Minus one. Okay, I take two damage. Okay. Uh, well, let's uh, get rid of drawing the sign so that I can actually do stuff. Um... And I will play Encyclopedia, last action. Uh, enemy phase nothing, upkeep, draw a card, gain a resource, boop, 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 back to, to the top. Not doing so great so far, Resurgent Evils, either place a Doom or draw the top two cards in the encounter deck. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, well, it's a Hunting Night Caught, that's pretty bad, and Sorted and Silent, where I'm going to take a Horror later in my turn. This card. This card. So I gotta be able to hit threes, um, or I could try to evade. Oh my god, this is a terrible run. All right, uh, first action. I'm gonna use a daisy action on Encyclopedia to up my willpower by two, so I'll be at a five. I take an attack of opportunity for doing that. Um, next action, I'm gonna use shriveling to kill this night gaunt. I, he's a hunter. I want to get rid of him. Uh, so I'm a f seven on three for that. Uh, and that's probably, what is this? This is a minus something. Minus two if you fail at a clue. Uh, I did not fail. So that's two damage for the night gaunt. Oh, cool. Um, now I'm two up. I'm five on three. Minus one that kills the night gaunt. Heck yeah. Got rid of him. In Sword and Silence, I'm gonna take a horror. I don't really want that. So let's uh let's go somewhere else. Last action move over here. Cannot gain resources while I'm here. Okie dokie. Well, that's fine. Alright, um, end of the round. I draw a card. It's that darn tote bag again. Uh, upkeep can't gain resources. Go up to three Dune, and I'm gonna draw Unhallowed Country. I cannot play ally assets, but I can test willpower to get rid of that. Cool. 
Um, well, let's uh, start getting some clues here, huh? So, uh, I'm a five on two. First action to get this clue, minus four. I guess it's not good enough. Next, minus zero is good enough. Uh, what are the chances this is a bad guy? It'll be fine, right? Let's flip it. On wings of darkness. Um, take a damage in a horror and move to a central location. So the movement doesn't matter, but the damage certainly does suck. Um, I could play mind over matter, but I really need that to help me with enemies. Oh, I used the two shriveling charges. So, I think I actually have that action, but, um... Let's take it on the chin. I'm a two on three, minus one. I fail. I take a damage in a horror. Well, maybe medical texts is the right move for solo daisy. I've always found it to be a terrible card, but what do I know? Um, all right. Well, let's uh, let's move again um, to Bishop's Brook. No one else can enter. That's fine. There's two clues here. It seems like a drag. Wasn't there an encounter card that was here? Oh, it's this one. Um, and then I'm going to use my daisy action to up my willpower so that I can try to get rid of this. So, end of my turn, a test willpower on the three on five. Uh, minus two. It seems just fine. Get rid of that. End of the round. Draw a card, gain a resource deduction. Perfect timing. Four doom in the mythos phase, and I get a whippoorwill. Uh, but it's not engaged with me, it's just at my location. All right, well, I can still probably get the clues even without dealing with the whipper will. Um, which, in the interest of moving things along, I'll probably do that. So let's uh, up my investigate as Daisy. Uh, that's probably what my third time using Daisy. I said third, third time? There it goes. Coolio, so I'm a five, six, seven, eight, seven with the whipper will on three. I just didn't want to waste that deduction. You know what I'm saying? Clue, clue. Charging up, I've got a plan. Nothing wrong with that. Um, did I gain a resource last turn? I feel like I should have because I had one there and then I got warped and so then did I play anything? I think I should have two resources. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. It's okay. Uh, let's free action flip this kid because first action I investigated. Flip it. Key to the chamber. Second action. Let's move. Um, two clues here, and if you fail, flip a clue to its doom sign. Okay. Um, and last action, I'm going to investigate. I still got that encyclopedia bonus, right? So let's do it. I'm a seven on three. Minus three. Cool. Still feeling really good about the encyclopedia. I think that's the right choice here. Uh, okay. Uh, enemy phase, whoever will hunts. Um, upkeep phase, draw a card, get a resource. Crack the case has made its appearance, which is cool. I dig it. That readies. Five doom, and we're going to draw. Wings of darkness. Okay, well, this is bad. And I got to throw some stuff at it. Unfortunately, so because I could die, so I'm gonna commit the tote bag and mind over matter. Two, three for the wild, four for mind over matter, four on three. If minus one, or I die, minus three, so I died. Okay, well, that wasn't very exciting. So let's um, let's try that one more time, shall we? Where's my deny existence? That's what I need. Uh, I need that deny existence action. Um, so, 
So let's uh, do a little bit of quick setup here. One, two, flip them. Three, four, five potential sacrifices. Um, and then, oh, let's um, I'm gonna roll this again. Four. One. Uh, that was the same one, I think. Uh, let's try a different location. Three. One, two. I'm being kind of an idiot. I'm gonna remove uh, Osborne's general store from here. Uh, and we're gonna move these over to here. Um, all right, one, two, shuffle, shuffle, one, two, shuffle, shuffle, one, two, shuffle, shuffle, one, two, shuffle, shuffle, one, two. Um, so these all get grouped, put in here, um, and these all get laid out. Nope, that's not correct. One, two, three. Four and five. Cool beans, opening hand. Am I indebted? I'm I'm still indebted on this playthrough. That's fine. Um, Esoteric Atlas. I'm excited to see you. Scroll Secrets. Also very excited. Banish. I might actually hold on to deal with enemies. Now I'll just power. I'm definitely not going to use. Uh, I'd rather see crack the case earlier. So I'm actually going to get rid of Banish as well. Um, and we're going to stick with these three. Oh, crack the case. Look at that. Cool. All right. Let's let's uh, let's get this party started, shall we? Um, so last time Schoolhouse was a high shroud. I'm going to check it out again. First action move to the Schoolhouse. Say, ooh, while you're in Schoolhouse, you cannot commit skill cards to skill tests. Interesting. Um, that's my first action. Second action. I think we're going to play Scroll of Secrets nice and early. Um, we're going to use a daisy action to, um, use Scroll of Secrets. We're going to look at the top cards, or the bottom cards of the encounter deck. Um, so I don't want the Night Gaunt. Rotting Remains, I don't care that much about. Sword and Silent, I definitely don't care about. So I'm going to put Sword and Silent on top, and then just know that Rotting Remains is coming up. Uh, in the last action, I think we got a two resources, so I can't play any of these other three cost things. Uh, so I'm just going to investigate, and I'm one up on this test. Zero. That was awesome. So I get a clue, and I play Crack the Case, and I gain four resources. All right. Feeling good. Here we go. Enemy face. Nothing. Upkeep. Draw a card. Gain a resource. Flip. Flip, flip, flip. As I'll go back, I'll go up to one Doom, and I draw. Sorted and silent. At the end of the round, each location, or each investigator here takes a horde. I'm not going to worry about that. Okie dokie. So, in the event that this is an enemy, I think I will... I'm actually going to get set up a little bit here. So let's play Mr. Rook for Soak and Shriveling for... Um, enemy management, I guess. Uh, I can't commit skill cards here, so I'm not going to use Mr. Rook yet to pull up What's it called? You know what I'm trying to say. Guts. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, let's go ahead and flip this card. Oh, what does this guy say? Uh, spawn any empty location. If you defeat him, discover one clue anywhere. All right. Well, let's put him back at the commons because I don't care about him at all. Man, this is such a dumb enemy. He's super easy to evade. He's easy to kill. He has retaliate. I guess he does a bunch of damage, but he gives you a free clue. And you don't even have to deal with him? I don't get it. I feel like he's maybe like 
supposed to be tougher, and he's not. I guess he just gives combat people something to do. Uh, he should have like a four fight though. Like he's, there's no reason for that. Uh, anyway, it's not the key, and I don't want to stay here, so I'm gonna move to House of the Reeds. Search the encounter deck for a Nika on spawn in the village commons. Well, that sucks. Uh, search the encounter deck. Okay. Is the night gone? He spawns in the village commons. Shuffle the. Oh, I have to shuffle the encounter deck? Gosh darn it. And I'll set up and everything. Here's the honey night guard. Um. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'm going to use Daisy's action. Where's that die? Yeah, here it is. Uh, boop. And scroll secrets. To set up my encounter deck again. All right, well, I got Whippoorwills to choose from and Psychopomp Song. Psychopomp Song seems very bad. Very bad for me. So I'm going to discard that, and I'll just put two whips on top. And there'll be some turn where I, I was going to say mind over matter to like deal with these guys, but no, <laughs> no, there won't be. Um, I think I could use Mr. Rook here because my weaknesses are Necronomicon. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm going to use Mr. Rook. Uh, I'm going to look at the top nine cards of my deck. Necronomicon and drawing the sign. Um, I will choose. Do I want to deal with the Necronomicon first? Um, I guess I'll take out drawing the sign. That's fine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One of these top eight cards. I could do. Well, I, I don't want more tomes yet. I could do. Deduction? That'd actually be really nice right now. I was thinking about getting a Grizzly Totem, because that's really good for me as well. But, um... I think I'm going to take that deduction now. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's fine. That's in my hand. Okay. Cool. That's the end of my turn. Uh, enemy phase, Night Gaunt Hunts, uh, Upkeep, draw a card, gain a resource, um, Deny Existence, hey, that's exciting, uh, this all resets, oh wait a second, now I gotta discard a freaking card, man, alright, well I'm gonna discard Shriveling because I hate the world. I should have done Necronomicon. That's okay. Uh, that's why we test. That's why we test our decks, right? Mythos Fies. It's a Whippoorwill. Wow. No way. Oh my gosh. All right. So, um, first action, let's investigate. Uh, I'm a five, six on one, minus one. So I get, wait, weren't there three clues here? What planet am I on? Oh my god, maybe it was last game where there were three clues on this location. I moved in. Alright, we'll keep the deduction again. Um, give me a stupid clue. Everything's stupid. <laughs> uh, hidden Chamber! Hey, did I ever get the key? No. Uh, Alright, well, Hidden Chamber exists. We now we now know where the hidden chamber is, and we're gonna put it off to the side over here. Set this camera a little bit better. Camera two. Second action. Um, let's not get hit by the night gaunt. Move to the congregational church. Spawn the encounter for a human enemy and spawn of the village commons. Okie dokie. I uh, will pull out another one of these useless mouth boys. Um, spawn a mirror. And 
Uh, I guess I will. Use Mr. Rook. Look at the top nine cards in my deck. Uh, so I do have to draw the Necronomicon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, what do you think? I've got a plan so I can kill the stupid Night Gaunt. Or four of cups so that I can boost my willpower. I've got a plan, seems pretty good. Um, this comes into play with three horror on it. I need to get rid of drawing the sign. This is just murdering me right now. I cannot stand this weakness. Um, all right, and. I got shuffle right. Uh, last action. Well, let's use a. Oh, there we go. Let's use a daisy thing to set up the bottom of this deck. Wings of darkness, strange signs. Strange signs seems awesome. Kidnaps is bad. Wings of darkness is also bad. Um. Kidnapped. I can maybe do later. I'm going to put Strange Signs on top. Um, and then, last action, I'm going to play the Esoteric Atlas and overplay the Scroll Secrets. That's my turn. Enemy phase. This dude hunts. I guess I'm going to have him hunt over here, maybe. I'll put him over here. That's fine. Um... And the round, draw a card, gain a resource. I have to discard one of these guys. Maybe I'll get rid of this deduction. I could want it for the end, but whatever. Uh, done goofed it up, you know? Mythos phase. What do you know? It's strange signs. I'm a five on three. Plus one. Great. I don't have to deal with it. Uh, first two actions, I'm going to get rid of drawing the sign. I hate it. I hate it so much. Holy cow, do I hate it. I think I forgot to hunt with the Whippoorwill. So the Whippoorwill is here. Uh, I'm going to pick up this stupid clue, I guess. Uh, so let's uh, investigate. I'm a whatever. I'm, I'm a 5-4 with the Whippoorwill on 1. Elder Sign, which is actually an auto-fail right now, so I do not succeed. That's problematic. Um, and then... I can't use Esoteric Atlas to move with my Daisy action, so I am actually going to have to deal with this Night Gaunt next turn, which is a pain. Oh, but Mr. Rook is going to be my soak. He'll be my soak boy. Speaking of Mr. Rook, let's uh, let's use him. Use him or lose him, right? Uh, look at the top nine cards of my deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could pick a Mr. Rook. I can get out the tote bag or I can get four cups. Um, those are all good choices. I guess... Um, how am I going to kill this guy? I'm going to use... I've got a plan. I'm going to blast him. So... I feel like there's still a lot of setup I got to have. So I'm going to pull up another Mr. Rook, I guess. Okay. Uh, so it's my turn. Uh, enemy face. Uh, Night got hunts and punches Mr. Rook. How dare you. Oh, I guess I could have uh, taken a horror with my daisy action. And got this down to two. Just because, why not, you know? Uh, upkeep phase. Draw a card, gain a resource. Flip, flip, flip. And then mythos phase. We go up to the top. Four doom, and I draw into rotting remains. 
Oh, well, I got a uh, deny existence if I really host this one. Plus one. I'm a four. Four on three, so I'm fine. I find that deny existence works kind of like a weird lucky, right? Where like lucky, you say, well, I got a lucky in hand, so I'll just take this test and then see what happens. So deny existence, you can do the same thing for totally different effects, granted, but you know, that's interesting like that, right? All right, so here's the dealio. Uh, this night god sucks, and I hate him. And um, I could evade, but I have to evade at a zero. And I need one more clue. What if I investigate and take the attack of opportunity? Yeah, I'll do that. First action, we're going to investigate. Uh, Mr. Rook takes damage and a horror, and he dies. And I am a 5-4 with the Whippoorwill on 1. Minus 2, so I get a clue. Cool. Now, second action, I'm going to play I've Got a Plan. Uh, which cost me 3. And I am attacking with my book. So I'm at a 5. On three, let's um, let's take a look at this chaos bank. So there's a bunch of minus twos. Is this the right bag? Oh, I don't think I added the right bag. Sorry, I've been playing with an illegal bag this whole time. Oh, well. um, so I got one, two, three minus threes in the bag, and then a minus four. So I really would like to be three up on this test, and I am what currently two up five. Four with the Whippoorwill. I'm a four on three. Um, I'm going to try committing knowledge is power. So now I'm back up to a five on three, and I will actually commit the encyclopedia. It'll be six on three. Um, wish me luck. Zero. Okay. I really needed that to land, though. So I had to burn a bunch of cards. It's okay. I killed the Night Gaunt, which feels good. Um, let's uh, go ahead and flip this card. Resurgent Evils. Oh, man. Um, I'll draw some counter cards. It's fine. Unhallowed Country. Cannot play ally assets. Bummer. Uh, and then the other one is Rotting Remains. Great. Same story as last time. Minus one. So I'm two on three and I take a horror that's just fine so resurgent goes away on hollow country stays in my threat area and I can't play ally assets with my last action here um, so I guess um, well I could move but then the whippoorwill is gonna hunt me so I guess I draw here Banish, that seems fine. And then I'll use my daisy action to lower this down to one. And then I got to test on Hollow Country, and I'm a three on three. Minus three, okay. I guess I could have pumped with that, right? But I don't know. It's not the end of the world. Is it? Is it the end of the world? Am I wrong? Maybe it's just the end of the world. Um, five doom. Here we go. Kidnapped. This is going to give me two damage, but I got to deny existence. Because I have no allies in play. Man, they really hate allies in this scenario. Huh? All right, so I fail. Um, if you have no ally assets, take two damage and discard kidnapped instead. And I will play deny existence to prevent that damage. Okay. Well, I still can't play allies, so I guess we're just moving. Uh, up to the Burned Ruins. This is the one that has three. Um, okay. And, oh, I got another crack the case. That's cool. Oh, no way, man. That's so cool. Um, I guess I'm just going to use my 
Daisy action to clear the Necronomicon? I've never, ever done that before. Um, and then I'm going to start investigating, huh? That's my fifth Daisy action. Uh, here we go. Minus something. What is this? Minus one for each location play with no encounter card underneath it, which is one, two, three, four. So that's a minus four. Wow. Man, I forget how bad the Chaos Band gets. This. It's, uh, is this a Shroud one or two? It's a Shroud two, so I fail. Uh, and then let's, uh, let's do it again. And it's an auto fail. All right, well, fine. I don't want your stupid clues. Anyway, I am holding on to Banish in case I draw another enemy. So I'll just test... Um, I guess, I mean, do I need to get down Mr. Rook really bad? Minus four. Okay, well, never mind. I thought about committing Banish, but Banish seems really good. So, anyway, enemy phase. Whippoorwill moves up to me. I don't think there's any other hunters on the map. No. Upkeep. Draw a card. Gain a resource. Five is right. Um, I don't know. And then we advance. Uh, if there are three more potential sacrifices, choose one. Actually, and then that gets placed under the agenda deck. So I'll just put it over here. This is, this is my sacrifice pile. Someone died. Someone is now dead. Wings of Darkness. Uh, this one. Do I already have a bunch of enemies there? Oh, I sure do. I sure do. Um, well, I don't think there's much I can do. I can commit... Um, Banish to be even. That's a terrible odd. So don't worry about it. Minus three. I failed. I take a damage and a horror. And I move here. And the servants of so many mouths just try to put their mouths on me. Wow. Trying to get their mouths on me. Ooh, gross. All right, what do I do here, gang? Do I shrivel these dudes? My shriveling is real bad. Um, do I if I if I do shrivel them though? I do get free clues off of burned ruins. Um, do I evade them? I'm one up on the evade. Uh, I'm pretty sure this chaos bag is terrible at this point, right? So let's see, I got plus one, two zeros, and an elder sign. So that's four successes. There are two minus, three minus ones. So now if I'm one up, that's good. And then there's four minus twos, three minus threes, and three minus fours. The stacked chaos bank here. But if I don't evade these dudes or get rid of them, I'm dead, right? Well, my chances of evading are a lot better than my chances of hitting with freaking shriveling. I can banish one. Sure. Sure, why not? I'll banish the first one. Um, so I'm a three on one evade. So I'm Two up. Wow, this is terrible. This is terrible. Yeah! Alright, so I evaded one. Uh, oh, this is gone, by the way. It goes when the agenda flips. Um, and... He's gone. So now I'm going to evade this servant of many mouths, and I'm one up. It's a minus four. I'm going to evade this one, one up, minus three. So, remember when I complained that these enemies were stupid easy? Well, if you're Daisy, maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. Okay, uh, test on Hollow Country, auto fail, cool. Um, Servant of Many Mouths punches me for two damage. Upkeep phase. Oh, actually, sorry. Um, enemy phase, where well hunts. Um, 
upkeep phase, everything ready, draw, nope, draw a card, new resource, hey, mine never matter, there we go. There we go. Yeah, we go up to one doom. Flip, flip, flip. And draw. Eager for death. Well, I'm about to take two horror, huh? Because I got to test the willpower five. Yup. Cool. I fail. I take two horror. Well, gang, it's been fun. Uh, I got to get the hell out of here. So we're going to mind over matter. I can use my book and place him a punch and move my feet. So I can punch this dude twice to get a clue. Five on three. Or I just evade him. If I miss with my punch though, and I'm only five on three, he retaliates and I die. So I'm just going to evade him. So I'm a five on one. Zero. Okay, well, didn't mean my never matter, but whatever. Um, where am I going with this? Flip it. Spin it. Um, then we're going to use Daisy Action with the Esoteric Atlas to backpedal. Have to go at least two connect or exactly two connections away. So Daisy's going to hop over here, I guess. I mean, I could just go over here. This is fine. This is fine. Um, oh yeah, I uh, evaded that home fry. And then I did this, and then I'm gonna pick up a clue. I'm a five on two. Elder sign, plus one if you succeed, draw one card for each tome you control. Yeah, give me some draw. I loves me some draw. Wow, just power, that's cool. And then we're gonna do it again. Auto fail, okay, well, the auto fails have been very not awesome. Uh, then at the end of my turn, I test on Hollow Country, and I'm even on this test, and I get a minus one. I could have maybe done a curiosity there, but uh, Whippoorwill hunts. Uh, upkeep, draw a card, get a resource, flip, 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 get rid of this, flip that, go up to the top, two doom, and I draw, eager for death again. Am I about to die? Mm. I guess I gotta pass this, huh? So I gotta beat a willpower five. Well, here's a curiosity. I got five cards in hand, so it gives me two willpower, so I'm a five on five. I'm even now. Here's another curiosity, and that's uh, four more cards in hand, so uh, it's, I'm now two up. And if I commit another, these curiosities go down. So three, four, five, six, seven on five, where I die. Plus one! Still playing, team. Still playing. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, that was Mythos Phase. Now we're going to investigate. Got the Whippoorwill on me. Didn't I get one of these clues? I think I did. I think that's right. Okay, so everything's terrible. And I still hate it. First action, I'm going to investigate. I'm a four on two because of the Whippoorwill. Minus three if you fail, place one Doom on the current agenda. Well, I sure did fail. Uh, second action, we're going to investigate. Five on, four on two, minus one. This chaos bag is no joke. Um, and the last action, I'm going to um, stack my deck a little bit. So we're going to spend one with the scroll secrets. Bing, bing. bing. Daisy action. Let's uh, do it. The point of this deck is to use tomes. So by Jingo, we're going to try using tomes. Uh, kidnapped, that sucks. Whippoorwills, pain in the butt. Psycho Pump Song, hell no. Kidnapped, you two can stay on the bottom of my deck and I'll deal with another Whippoorwill, that's fine. I mean, I don't want to, but here we are. Uh, end of my turn, Unhallowed Country, I'm a two on three. Plus one! Oh, man! Holy cow! All right, that's good. Get rid of that. Um, I need that Mr. Rook down for that soak or else. Uh, Whippoorwill is the only thing that could hunt. Get another Mind Over Matter. That's nice. Um, and then go to the top. Four Doom out of six. And I'm going to draw a, another Whippoorwill, which I knew. Okay. 
Okay. Well, I'm going to move. I can't, I mean, I can't pick up these clues here. Uh, first action move, Bishop's Brook. So no clues here. Let's try the three. All right, so my intellect's back up to a five. Um, that's my first action move. Second action, I'm going to play Mr. Rook finally, because I can. And we're going to use him right away, because the weaknesses are gone out of my deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do I take Deny Existence? Do I take Deduction for Tempo? Or do I take Four Cups? Um, I'm going to take Four Cups. Uh, and then I'm going to play it right away. Because uh, I really want my willpower. Right I don't have the money for it. So I'm going to investigate. Yeah. Zero. Hey, cool. Got a clue. I would have taken deduction then if I realized I couldn't play it yet. Uh, because now the whippoorwills are going to move in. And I can't investigate here anymore. Uh, upkeep phase, draw a card, gain a resource. Hey, my friend, Mr. Deduction. You showed up too late, sort of. I mean, I'll use you in the hidden chamber. Resurgent Evils. Let's just draw some more counter cards. It's fine. Resurgent Evils. Place one Doom. That'll cause it to advance. Um, I got stacking Resurgent Evils here. Can I afford to draw three encounter cards? Uh, no. I'll just count my losses. Uh, I'll add the Doom. That's going to advance. And I choose one. Oops, choose one at random. And he gets sacrificed. Um, and then I got to draw my second uh, Resurgent Evils encounter card, which is Sword and Silent. I was just really afraid of drawing um, like a Night, night Gaunt or something. That's really what I was worried about. Okay, well, they're done. guess let's use Mr. Ruck. Let's start with Mr. Ruck, huh? Um, Daisy's bag is an option. Deny existence so I don't die seems really good. Um, Cool. Well, uh, first action, let's move back here. Oops. Uh, this is a shroud of two. Did I fail one of these skill tests? Should this actually have been a doom, you think? Probably. I probably biffed that. Um, I don't know. I missed it. What can you do? I'll uh, investigate. So minus two, so I'm a uh, five, four, three. Three on two. I got clues, y'all. I got them. And we're going to get this cool key. Nope. Nope. Um, but this test doesn't really matter because it just adds clues to my location. So I'll deal with it. Nice two. If you're in a hidden chamber, reveal another token. I'm not. So I was on three on three. There you go. And um, I want to stay where I'm at so the Whipper Wills move for me. So we're going to play my four cups that I'm so excited about. That's my turn. Woo, who's a real grind, huh? Enemy phase. Whips. Moving. Sword and silent. I think. This is down to zero, right? Yeah, so I think this is gone. Um, upkeep phase. Thanks for watching. If you are still watching. One doom. Encounter card. Unhallowed country. 
Uh, my Mr. Rook is blank. The printed text box, so he's still a soak. So, oh, that's cool. And actually have maybe a chance to p get rid of that because of the thing with the stuff. All right, so um, it's been fun to investigate all these locations, but we got places to be, friends. All right, so uh, first action, let's move over here. It's a three shroud. Second action, let's investigate. I am a five on three. I'm not going to use anything that's in my hand. Uh, five on three fails. I place a doom on the agenda. Let's do it again. So, so much fun. Minus two that passes. So I get another clue. I'm going to use crack the case to gain three dollars and then I got a daisy ability honestly oh maybe I move here oh here's the key yeah, yeah. and then we're gonna daisy move um, although that does bring the whippoorwills closer Actually, I don't think I want to do that yet. Um, I think we're going to wait for next turn. So then I'm actually going to use Scroll of Secrets. It's my daisy. My daisy thing. Uh, we'll look at the bottom three cards. Two of them are kidnapped. And one of them is Rotting Remains. I have Deny Existence in hand, and my willpower is okay. So Rotting Remains is going to go on top. Kidnap gets discarded. Um, and then this other one stays on the bottom. Four card encounter deck, huh? Cool. Great. Uh, whips hunt. And go to upkeep. Oh, I got a, a test on Hollow Country, and I'm one up on this test. Get a minus four, so Mr. Rook is still blank. Upkeep. Draw a card. Get a resource. Guts. Maybe get rid of... What's his face? Actually, I'll probably have to pass a kidnapped with that, knowing my luck. Um, Mythos. Three out of seven before the scenario is done. Rotting remains. Uh, I got a soak. I got deny existence, and I'm one up. I'll take it. Zero. Great. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, so first action is a daisy action to use Esoteric Atlas. Do I have to exhaust it? Yeah, I do. Um, so daisy's going to move. That's my daisy action. First regular action, going to move. The key gets attached to the Chamber of Secrets. I can now enter. Um, do I enter now and just tank and just start? Dealing. Just start picking up clues, huh? And then move out. If I move in, I got to tank and then clues, clues, move out. Sure, no time like the present, right? All right, so Daisy moves in. Um, I enter the hidden chamber, so I have to advance. And reveal each unrevealed location. Uh, I, I got all the clues. So Silas Bishop gets put into the hidden chamber with me. I'm just going to put him in my threat area so it's easier for me to see. Uh, and then all these clues get grouped. I got eight of them to discover. That's not insane. And I'm actually going to move the hidden chamber down closer to me, I think. Yeah, that's cool. Cool, let's do this. And Daisy's now down here. All right, and I get a, one action left. You know we're going to investigate with a deduction. Here we go. Five, six on three. Six on three. 
Um, even though there's a bunch of minus fours in the bag, Encyclopedia is going to be really good here in a second. Let's take it. That's fine. Show me the money. What was it? Uh, it was something else. I think it was a number, though. Uh, but we'll just do this one. Uh, if you fail, add one clue to the token pool. I didn't fail. I get two clues. And the daisy's gonna daze, 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 daze. And the Silas gonna punch you in the face. Uh, Alright, so Silas uh, kills Mr. Rock. Uh, the Whippoorwill's hunt. Um, I think probably used a couple more daisy actions. Uh, upkeep phase, draw a card, gain a resource, flip it. That's all good. Um, flip, 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 flip. Mythos for doom, and I draw another whipper whale. So I'm gonna put the well. I'll just put the whipper whale here. So that's not great. Um, sure. I kind of want to get, how many, I got two cards in the encounter deck. I mean, I could faff about for another turn. I'd like to get Encyclopedia down so that I can be investigating at like a seven or a six maybe. Instead of a four on three, which is where I'm at. Um, so I don't have her thing down. Do I care about Scroll of Secrets? So what I was thinking was. Um, yeah, I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't care about Scroll of Secrets right now, so I'm gonna play Encyclopedia. Um, I'm gonna keep Esoteric Atlas for maybe some Whippoorwill management to try to pull the Whippoorwill out of there. So the Encyclopedia goes down. Uh, that's my first action. Then Daisy action. I'm gonna use Encyclopedia to pump my intellect. So now I'm a seven. Uh, six with the whipper will. So then second action I'm gonna investigate. Six on three. I get a clue. Um and then last action we're gonna hop out. I don't know if it was right for me to keep the esoteric atlas or whatever, but whatever. Um enemy phase, we got a hunter. And we got two more hunters. We got whips, baby. Whipping. Um let me phase upkeep, draw a card, gain a resource. Um, again, that's the wrong version of Grizzly Totem, but I might not even play it because I don't have a lot of time. Servant of Many Mouths spawns any empty location. So I guess up there is fine. Oh, those are empty locations? I bet you. Oh, no. No, I use Congregational Church to spawn the second one. Okay. Oogie. Um, oh, and an unhallowed country, I guess I need to test for that. Zero. Oh, I got rid of it. That's cool. Um, all right, so they hunted upkeep mythos. Did I just draw my mythos card? I did. There's another whippoorwill. Or do I still have to draw one more? I got so distracted by everything. Um, I think I still have to draw one. Kidnapped. I'm a four on four. And I don't want to take this damage, so I'm going to commit guts. I'll be six on four. And that's a minus four. So I technically fail and I take two damage. So I'm going to play deny existence and block that two damage. Um... And maybe I shouldn't have committed that guts because actually I was at a minus one. That's a shame. All right, so um, first action, Daisy moves in. Uh, 
Uh, Daisy's gonna try to get a clue. I'm a five on three. Um, let's do it again. I'm a five on three, so I fail. Yeah, uh, maybe I should have committed something. Um, oh, I should use knowledge as power on the encyclopedia. Uh, and then Daisy action, I'm going to use Esoteric Atlas, and we're going to move out. Um, two locations away, so we're going to move over here. Cool. Um, enemy phase, whips hunt, big old stack of three whipper wells. My stats are terrible right now. Uh, Daisy's tote bag makes an appearance. Uh, we go up to six doom, and um, my encounter pile has reset. And I have to add clues to this for each point I failed by. And we're going to commit Daisy's tote bag. Hold on, I've got minus three, so my intellect is two. I'm going to have to add a, a clue to this. Oh, to my location? Oh, that's fine. Minus four, so I super fail, and I add a clue here, and I don't care. Daisy action, Esoteric Atlas. Foop. She's back. Knowledge is power. Let's use Encyclopedia. Uh, I'm now a seven intellect for the rest of the turn. Uh, and I'm going to investigate. I think that was a cultist. I saw it really fast. So I get a clue. Uh, let's do it again. Minus three. I get a clue. And in order to not die, I need to move out. Um, right? Because I don't have any soaks or anything. Nope. Uh, enemy phase, whips hunt, draw a card, gain a resource, and we go up to seven doom, what happens? Uh, and I immediately resign. Okay, well, what's the deal with this daisy deck? Um, well, first of all, it's the wrong grizzly totem. I think she still struggles from dealing with enemies. I could, I think maybe doing... Like a David Renfield route might be better for this. Yeah, thanks Decatur about um, using the Esoteric Atlas as the free move. Um, I, honestly, I liked it. I liked it in Daisy. It is very similar to Pathfinder though. And it doesn't take up a hand slot, so you don't have to do this weird shenanigans. Yeah, so close. You're right. Um, I, I mean, I was at... I was close, man. I needed um, two more clues. So if I hadn't, you know, thrown away that weird deduction, uh, I had to investigate every single location. So luck wise, you know, maybe I could have saved myself some grief if I had found the key slightly sooner. Um, but I mean, that's just randomness. But um, so. But yeah, I think doing more of the willpower thing is probably better. Uh, just for solo Daisy, because like you gotta have some way to freaking defend yourself. So let's go back to um, what am I doing? Let's go back to this screen here and try this. Uh, I'm not gonna play again tonight because it's late and I don't wanna. Um, but I'm gonna. Um, try doing more of a willpower thing. So let's take out Grizzly Totem and get my XP back. Uh, I'm going to put in Mists. Well, it, it, I mean, I could do Renfield, Rosary, and Mists. And now I have 18 assets, and this is going to be the slowest deck of all time. So I hate that, 
but I got some XP to burn. So what if instead of mists I did another banish and a blinding light? Um, upgraded, of course, because the base version is too expensive. I'm at 34 cards, so that's way too many. I could, and then Runfield's going to even out my um, my money situation. I'm not going to use Charisma, and that way I can use Mr. Rook to overwrite Runfield. And then between that and just damage. I take out the Rosaries. There's still two cards over. I think Solo Daisy wants to do the willpower thing, but that clashes with the all tomes all the time thing because um, of all the assets. They're both very asset heavy strategies. So okay, we're, let's um, let's move away from needing willpower as badly. Could I get away without shriveling? Like, is there... What if I get rid of shriveling? I've got Banish and Blinding Light. What if I get rid of those? Now I just don't care about willpower. I just got guts for the encounter deck. Right? Got some cards. Got some XP. So let's try two discs of Idzamna. That's, I mean, that's a good way to avoid enemies out of the encounter deck. So between that and Scroll of Secrets, I've got a pretty good hold on just like rando enemies, right? And then Mind Over Matter, and then I've got a plan. Um, is there a way that I can deal with elite enemies? No, there's not. <laughs> uh, if you were doing this as a campaign, you'd probably do um, Strange Solution or maybe Archaic Glyphs, the version that um, gives you free evades. Not this one, the other one. Uh, this one, uh, where you can automatically evade and engage an enemy. So that's cool. Uh, I'm going to add uh, my other Enraptured, because I got the slots now. Um, I'm down to 12 assets, which is cool. I could do one of that thing that I like, the... Totem? Not that one. The other one. Um, that works out XP wise. Um, but now I'm competing with my discs. I'm going to take that out. Because um, I want another Atlas. Alright, so I have two XP and one card left. That could be a blinding light, maybe. Uh, what's other good Mystic 2 XP splashes here? Um, counterspell. Um, if, uh, so here's the thing I want to point out. If I did that big willpower route, I think Divermus Mysterious starts looking really good because then you can recur all of those evasion events I was just talking about. Um, sorry, I'm bouncing on my different screens here. Uh, yeah, so you can do all the, uh, you can recur all the evasion events. But, I think that's a different deck. You would just use Renfield and maybe Lab Assistant or something. Um, and just try to cut down on your assets. You would just do maybe Old Book of Lore or one of these other tomes and Divermus. And then you don't worry about getting out the Daisy's back. Um, I could put in Fearless to heal some, heal some stuff. I could put in Ward of Protection. Um, recharge maybe. Right of Seeking is a terrible idea because she's already so good at clues. So two XP. I don't like upgraded deduction in solo. 
Um, let's keep all. I could do a, a singleton shortcut. That's maybe a good idea. Yeah, that's probably what I would do. Um, or a sketches maybe. But um, a singleton shortcut can go a long way in solo, depending on the map. If you know what the scenario is and you find a good hub. So, yeah, this would probably be in the next iteration that I would try. Um, again, solo Daisy, I think, is just tricky in general. And I'm finding that I want to lean into the uh, willpower based stuff for Mystic to help defend, to help her defend herself. Um, but I'm trying this thing out. This would be a lot of fun in multiplayer because then you don't have to worry about defending herself so much. So then you just put in really good support cards. Encyclopedia becomes really good in multiplayer because it works on your allies as well. Um, Scroll of Secrets is less good in multiplayer because you're only like deciding on what the first investigator or two is going to draw. So maybe you go back to Old Book of Lore or um, maybe Dervermis or something. Uh, just for the sake of discussion, so this is where I, why I ended up with this particular Daisy deck. Um, I'm going to try something really quick. I keep referring to this like willpower, willpower version of the deck that's coming to my mind, and I want to try throwing that together. Um, so this is going to use lots of um, the mystic stuff. So we're going to start with Vermis. And I said that was good for the events that evade. And then you've got your I've got a plan. Um, and we'll, before I forget, I'm just going to do my little matter real quick. Um, so, Dvermis is one of your things. Uh, let's try Book of Shadows. Um, I want that new event, Knowledge is Power. Is that what it's called? Yes. So, we want that. Um, and we're using rosary and shriveling and we're using Renfield for willpower and we're using let's throw in the tarot card which is cups yeah um, I have 13 assets I could do I could go up to 17 assets and put in um, Mr. Rook to try to get out my my book again. Um, maybe I just leave it at this. Um, I want another, I want more spells or insight events that aren't fast. All right, so for this, we're definitely gonna put in guts. Um, I was missing unexpected courage. I didn't feel like I was missing that. Oh, do I put in mists in this build? Maybe. Maybe that actually moves over to Blinding Light. And then I have Banished Blinding Light, and I've got a plan that I can use with Divermis. And because I have Renfield and Divermis, I'm going to try Moonlight Ritual. Either that or Sacrifice. So Moonlight Ritual or Sacrifice, one of the two. Um, Moonlight Ritual removes all the doom from the car that you control, and Sacrifice lets you trash a card and then draw cards. So that would discard the Renfield instead of just letting you use it some more. Um, I'll start with Moonlight Ritual because in theory Divermis can play Moonlight Ritual to clear itself. Um, Alright, and then Book of Shadows is going to restock 
my shriveling. So I just always have shrivelings, I guess. But then, see, this, this kind of clashes, right? Because Book of Shadows wants asset arcane spells, and Divermis wants event spells. So I feel like I'm kind of split myself two different ways here. Because if I had Book of Shadows, then I would just use Mists again. Um, without Divermis. So now, again, we're branching into two different decks. So let's get rid of Shadows, put in, I don't know, Encyclopedia or something. Um, actually, I liked uh, the Atlas. We'll just do that. That's fine. Um, that's Secrets or whatever. And then we just got some skills. Uh, Curiosity was a big one for us. Uh, wasn't there another one? Oh, uh, deduction, duh. And I got one extra slot here, and a bunch of experience. So maybe I drop down blinding light and do higher ed. And that is, we're doing taboo, so then that's eight. So that's my, yeah, that's probably right. And then I use that to recur those, which is good. And then I got the esoteric atlas. And then um, probably another skill of some kind. Perception, maybe, or fearless. Oh, let's do, um, let's put in deny existence again. All right, so this is what that deck would look like. This is really leaning into the willpower stuff. This is just like a random solo daisy deck um, that looks to recur Banish and Blinding Light with a Divermis. Um, so it's kind of different from the original idea, but uh, oh, it's going to be freaking expensive. Oh, I didn't even put in... I got to take out Deny Existence because I didn't put in... What's it called? Correct the case. I got to afford this stuff somehow. Yeah, in higher education, it's going to be hard to keep that, keep that sucker alive. Um, instead of blinding light, I could do two copies of sacrifice, and then I got another slot back, so, you know, whatever. Yeah, the, the, I'm, I'm down to, to tinkering, obviously. Um, Probably, I mean, I could do base level blinding light, but it's real bad. I mean, it's just expensive, is the problem. So, I probably do deny existence just because it's like the next best thing or whatever. Or you could do premonition or whatever. So, yeah, this is kind of a totally different deck. Uh, this is Solo Daisy. Casts many spells. It's a terrible deck name. All right, well, uh, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with this, right? We're done watching. Um, hey, I want to give a big shout out to everyone who was watching this. Ton of fun for me. This is something I was just gonna do for fun anyway, and so now, um, you know, you uh, you got to join me for that, which I really appreciate. Uh, let me know if you have any opinions on this deck. Uh, again, I think this could be a pretty fun standalone multiplayer deck. Um, do a daisy that, you know, uses uh, Mr. Rook to pull out um, her bag and then just uses a bunch of tomes for different things. Uh, Encyclopedia, 
maybe Scroll of Secrets, maybe just stick with Old Book of Lore, Esoteric Atlas, I thought was actually pretty good because she could get um, to a couple of locations pretty fast. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, you have yourself a merry little Christmas. Sorry, that was stupid. I'm I'm sorry. It was really dumb. I don't know I don't know what to tell you, man. It was it was it was a bad way to